Marble. I can control metal. Chapter 61. Lakasha, who was picking a woman in the rear compartment, also heard the second shot, frowned, and realized that things were not that simple. Put the antidote in his hand into his pocket, reached out his hand and pulled out a pistol, opened the safety, and walked vigilantly into the cabin. As for the woman at hand, she just threw it aside. She has taken the antidote. Although a big bag was smashed out of her head, her arm moved and she has regained consciousness. Clow. It seems that he was in the warehouse that day. The man told me this name. It seems to have something to do with K. It wouldn't happen by chance. Leo remembered the last name that the man who fell in a pool of blood called out in the warehouse that day. Was a little dazed, and with a light wave of his palm involuntarily, two silver metal thorns directly penetrated Miller's chest. Didn't directly pierce the heart, but made him feel so painful, lying on the sofa feebly, the chest cavity was congested, flowing into the abdominal cavity, unable to make any more sounds. Looking at the fearful eyes of the people around, Leo had no reason to soften his heart. Turned around and walked towards the rear compartment, all the pistols on their heads fell to the ground. Just as everyone breathed a sigh of relief, the two metal thorns floating in the air turned into a flash of lightning, which quickly passed through everyone's throat, bringing a smear of blood. All six of them covered their necks with their hands, and lay on the ground in pain, blood flowing through the fingers. Everyone can't make a sound. What awaits them is the pace of death. The metal thorn obediently followed Leo's back, the two touched each other, shaking off the blood on his body, and returned to the needle bag on Leo's waist. The narrow cabin aisle can only be paralleled by two people at most, and the light bulb in the middle flickers because of the unstable circuit. Leo walked to the rear cabin with his little school bag on his back, and reached the door a few steps away. Lakasha was standing by the door, with a gun in his hand, looking at the door vigilantly, ready to shoot at any time. And not far behind him, a girl has woken up, and the ropes on her hands and feet have been untied, and she can move. Did not yell, but took a look at the surrounding environment. Except for herself, all the other dozen women were in a coma. Saw Lakasha standing at the door with a gun. She knew that Lakasha was a bad person, so if she was so vigilant, the door might be the hope of saving them. She tried to stand up with her hands and feet still a little weak, intending to take the opportunity to stop Lakasha's actions. And Lakasha, while looking at the cabin door vigilantly, made a call to Rice, trying to confirm the situation outside, but did not notice the girl approaching behind him. Leo saw this scene completely, but also had a headache. He took out a mask made of gold titanium alloy from his small school bag. Covered the entire face strictly, leaving only part of the mouth and chin. Walked to the door, gently touched the iron door with his finger, and slammed the door to the left along the direction of the door shaft. And Lakasha was standing on the left side of the door. The hatch did not hit him, but it was only a few centimeters away. Squeeze the gun in his hand, as long as someone enters the door, he will shoot immediately. But the hatch did not stop because of this. This side pressed against the wall, but the connection points on the side of the door shaft were all disconnected, and it continued to roll to the left. In Rakesh's horrified eyes, he was knocked out by a door panel. The girl who was about to get up and pounce on Lakasa was also shocked, looking at Lakasa who was already lying on the ground, a little at a loss. And for those who are about to come in, he is full of vigilance. Leo who has grown to a height of 1.4 meters, walked in with a plain silver mask and carrying a small school bag. Looked at the girl stunned, but didn't pay attention, reached out and took out the antidote from Lakasa's pocket and handed it to her. Are you Chinese? I can speak a little Mandarin, I am Malaysian. This is the antidote, you first wake them up. Threw the antidote bottle to her, took out a dagger, and handed it to her, so that they could loosen it. As for Monster, Leo dragged him directly into the aisle. A metal thorn flew out and pierced his thigh, ah. Negro Lakasha called out in pain, Leo stared at him so coldly. The scream of gradually decreased, and another metal stab stuck into the other thigh. Where is Ulysses Crow? Leo asked coldly, and a pistol appeared in his hand, which was pressed against his forehead. Claw. What claw? Lakasha is still pretending to be dumb, he has not seen Leo's greatness. Facing a child who is only four feet tall, he didn't feel too much fear. The pistol turned around, toward the thigh. Boom. What? Single quote. 
The pistol hit his forehead again, come and give you another chance to speak well. Boss Crow is not far from the Salva Pier, which is only 5 kilometers away. It will be here soon. If you need it, I can take you there. Lakasha squeezed a painful smile on his face and said to Leo in front of him. What's the matter with these women inside? That's, that's. Boom. Single quote. A smoking bullet hole appeared in the ear. Business is business. Boss Crow doesn't care about these small businesses. Let me take charge. Today's party asked me to send some women over. These women were all captured in Yemen today. Lakasha yelled in fear. Shooting at any disagreement, which one is affected? Leo frowned, why is there a party? It seems to be that a batch of goods came in today, very valuable goods, but we don't know what it is. We are just working under our staff. You can go to him and I can take you. Go, take you there. Go to hell. Boom. Single quote. The boss of this kidnapping gang also died in Leo's hands, and Lakasha's hand behind him also dropped, along with a steel dagger. Turned and looked at the women who had been standing up one after another in the rear cabin, where are you from? How should I go back? Was the first Malaysian woman who woke up came over and looked at Leo with tears in her eyes, thank you, although I don't know who you are, thank you very much. I am a tour guide. My name is Yi Tian. I took 11 people to Saudi Arabia for a trip in Japan. Nine of them were here. I was also found because of this. They knocked me out. In fact, I was. Wait, will you sail? Leo looked at the phone map in his hand. This is a straight line distance of more than 300 kilometers from Saudi Arabia. How do you get back? Are there anyone else? Leo looked at them. Yishin stepped forward and negotiated one by one. In addition to Japanese, there were also two languages, Korean and Thai. These people are basically here to travel. It is the peak tourist season. Another group of people come from two other tourist groups, both in Saudi Arabia and Yemen. Leo glanced at the fuel tank, there was only one-fifth of the oil left in it, and I wonder if he could drive it back. Stood on the top of the ship again, glanced at the location on the phone, the whole ship floated, and dropped its head in the air. Leo sat on the boat, and the boat below him flew smoothly and quickly against the surface of the sea. The target passed through the Arabian Sea and reached Yemen. Before flying out a few kilometers, Yi Tian below came over and shouted, Benefactor, there is a girl here who has a broken leg. Can you help? No one of us understands medicine. Leo walked down and looked at one of the girls who was still in a coma. It could be seen that there were violent beatings on her calf. Opening the golden eyes, you can see through the muscles that the inside of her calf, the fibula and tibia inside her have different degrees of fracture. The larger tibia is okay, but the fibula is clearly fractured. There has been swelling in the calf, and the girl just fainted in pain, not for other reasons. Leo also read some medical knowledge when he was bored at home, and he also had some basic judgments about the injury. Pressed his right hand lightly on the swelling, feeling the calcium in it. There is about 25.6% of calcium in human bones. Leo could perceive it before, but he was very reluctant to control it. This is his second attempt. Leo clearly watched the small fragments on the fibula slowly move in the muscles and fit on the bone gap. At the same time, the cracks on the tibia also gradually moved closer, forming a slightly invisible crack. The notch on the fibula was closed and closed, and the cracks in the middle gradually shrank until it became a crack. Then, the calcium in the wound was sealed. Leo controlled the movement of calcium, extending a small part of it to the crack. The cracks on the two bones have also completely disappeared, but of course the calcium at the cracks is not as strong as before. Using two splints to tie up the calves can be considered as a temporary solution to this problem. During this period of time, other people have discovered the complete corpses and already know the truth. Looking at the savior, he felt grateful and fearful, and he did not dare to step forward to speak. Except for Yi Tian, a dozen other people stood a few meters away. Leo doesn't care about this either, but he also has a clear understanding of the strengthening of his control. Went back to sit on the top of the ship again, and the sea level micro operations allowed Leo to strengthen his control over metals. The mental value of blackjack is no problem for manipulating human bones, and the damage is greater than the speed of repair. But other metal elements in the human body, Leo still can't accurately perceive them, and temporarily can't control them. 
Leo grabbed a small metal ball from the top of the metal boat on the side, splitting, splitting, splitting. Finally turned into a small pile of metal powder in Leo's hands, not even dust. With a wave of his arm, the powder was swayed out. Under Leo's control, countless small and deep holes were punched out of the metal plate on the side. Two hours later, the yacht stopped on the coast of Yemen. All the women got off the boat and wanted to leave quickly, but Etn came over. Benefactor, can you tell me your name, or let me see your true face, I will never tell anyone, I will thank you for your life-saving grace forever. The bull warrior has never, cough, no need. Leo watched everyone get off the boat, mobilizing the bow, preparing to return on the same route. Yi Tian looked at the left back, and when he was ready to go back, he quit his job as a tour guide and developed in China with peace of mind, but he will never forget what happened today. 20 kilometers away from the coastline, Leo got up and flew off the top of the ship. Looking at this small yacht, but carrying the corpses of 10 people, his palms slowly tightened against the hull. And the entire hull quickly turned into a large twisted iron ball, which sank to the bottom of the sea, and after a few bubbles, there was no more movement. Glanced at the phone's positioning of the location just now, and the wings lightly flapped, turning into a stream of light and disappearing into the night sky. A minute later, Leo returned to his original position. Looking at the huge freighters that were parked on the dry terrain not far away, Leo smiled slightly, and he seemed to have found the target. Inside the huge freighter, countless soldiers carrying guns were carrying weapons and ammunition, and what's more, there were black men walking around with a small missile in their arms. Inside the cabin, in a command and operation room at the highest point, the bearded clow was excitedly opening a bottle of red wine. Sat on his recliner and looked at the hundreds of people who had been working underneath, as well as the rare dozen barbecue grills, which he allowed. After Nikov asked us to asterisk 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 out 250 kilograms of vibro, he didn't expect his son Nijadaka to start selling vibro too, ha ha ha. I want to find a big buyer. These items are very popular. Buyers must be very cautious. Crow thought about the more than 300 kilograms of vibrating gold in the warehouse. These are all metals that sell for 10,000 US dollars per gram. This is really an exciting number. Leo came to the side of the bottom of the ship. Although there were still parties inside the cabin, there were still 20 or 30 people patrolling everywhere outside. His eyes penetrated countless metal inner walls to find the packed vibrating materials placed inside the lower warehouse. This extremely high-quality metal even made Leo excited, ignoring other people and went directly to the bottom of the cabin. The palm of his hand lightly pressed on the hull of the ship wall half a meter thick. The metal slowly separated, quietly and slowly separated into a big hole, no one noticed the movement here. Continued to walk in, breaking through three heavy metal walls, and finally saw the box in the middle of the room. There are seven or eight cameras in the room, which will record everything that happens in the room. Leo raised his hand, the metal parts in the camera were all twisted and damaged, and the recording effect was instantly lost, and all the images displayed on the monitor disappeared. Crow drank a sip of red wine. The 25 kilograms of vibrating gold sold last time brought him huge benefits. A subordinate brought in a dish of roast meat and put it on the table respectfully, boss, Lakasa and the others have not come, brothers can't wait. They don't want to tell me everything, you find a way to solve this little thing. Cloud drove him out, grabbed a few pieces of meat with his hands, and glanced at the surveillance. What's going on? Crow stood up suddenly, looked at the monitor screen in horror and shouted. Immediately turned around and walked towards the warehouse, shouting that dozens of armed soldiers were brought along. At the same time, an engineer who installed the monitoring was arrested, if there is a problem with your monitoring, you will die and look ugly. Leo came to the box containing the vibrating gold. The box opened automatically, and 20 transparent glass tubes glowing with light blue light rose up. Each tube with a diameter of 10 centimeters is filled with a piece of material. This is the most precious metal in the world, vibrating gold. Zhenjin is a meteorite that fell on the earth in the universe millions of years ago. Thousands of years, because of it, the most technologically developed country, Wakanda. Zhenjin has also become a specialty of Wakanda. It can help develop technology, and it can also give birth to a magical heart-shaped grass on the land. 
Its characteristic is that it can absorb all kinetic energy, and can store vibrations such as sound and kinetic energy between chemical bonds. The more energy it absorbs, the stronger the chemical bond will be, so the vibrating metal is extremely difficult to be destroyed or damaged. Moreover, the vibrating gold atoms can also be compatible with tissue cells and can be cross-phase bonded for use in nanobiotechnology. Is also a mutagenic catalyst, causing mutations in the biosphere of Wakanda, giving birth to heart-shaped grasses. Genjin can be processed into clothes, supply energy to cities, develop technology, and make powerful weapons. It can be said to be a universal substance in the world. And Wakanda closed the whole city by himself and did not allow the sale of vibrating gold, but the people of Wakanda with ulterior motives always tried to bring out the vibrating gold. And Ulysses Crow is the biggest trader with whom he has cooperated. As early as 1992, he had broken into Wakanda, saw everything, and snatched 250 kilograms of vibrating gold. And now, Wakanda's internal staff is still cooperating with him, but now there is an accident in the warehouse where the Zhenjin is stored, and Crow is a little anxious. Leo took out a vibrating rod with a smooth silver metal surface, which was simply processed. Gently let go, the metal rod floated in the air, slowly spinning up. Put his right hand up, and a vibrating gold broke into several pieces, and slowly turned into eight metal balls, which continued to change shape, becoming eight metal thorns. World in the air at will, around Leo's side. Leo looked at the boxes of vibrating gold here, and with a wave behind him, all of them floated and followed Leo. Looking at the approaching crow and the others, Leo suddenly lost the desire to fight with them, turned and left, and walked out through the large holes when he came. With Leo's departure, the big hole behind him was quickly repaired, and the excess metal filled the middle. No matter whether the interior was intact or not, at least there was no abnormality on the surface. Leo met several patrolling soldiers on the way out, and all of them lay on the ground because of the rifles in their hands. When Crow arrived, there was only one empty box left in the room, and the other two boxes of vibranium even disappeared. Crow, who had been worrying about this, saw this situation and pinched the neck of the black man who installed surveillance. Where did things go? Crow thought it was the black man who had colluded with others to steal the gold, which was his usual tactic. I don't know, it's not me. Claw's fingers are getting harder and harder, and they are pinched deeply into his neck. Finally threw him aside, turned around and shouted angrily at everyone, find something for me. Ten kilometers away, Leo Fay was above the sea, with two metal boxes floating behind him, followed by 19 metal rods. After moving away from the dock, Leo reached out and gathered the ten metal rods together. With one palm, he unfolded into a circular shield. Placed a short distance to face him, reached out his hand and took out a pistol from his small school bag, bang. Boom. Boom. All the twelve bullets hit one point, but Leo didn't feel any force on the shield, but twelve bullets. Leo waved his hand to collect all the bullets in front of him. The cone-shaped bullets turned into twelve small round cakes, and all the impact was absorbed by the vibrating shield. Leo melted the bullet into a small metal thorn, and hit it on the shield at twice the speed of sound, but it still turned into a cylinder. The bullet itself could not stand the impact, but the vibrating shield did nothing. Although Leo felt the impact, it was reduced a lot. Looking at Zhenjin in his hand, Leo also sighed in shock. It is indeed a metal called sound-absorbing steel, and its defense is so high that it is scary. I don't know what kind of defense the carefully designed and cast shield in Roger's hand has. All the vibrating gold was taken out, and all the boxes were turned into metal asterisk 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 and sank to the bottom of the sea. I looked at a large group of vibrating gold around me. Although it was only more than 300 kilograms, the volume seemed to be equivalent to one ton of ordinary metal steel much. In other words, the weight of vibrating gold is almost only one-third of normal steel. With the most precious metal in the world, Leo unfolded the gold wings and started to gallop towards home. An hour later, Leo took advantage of the dusk and rushed down from the clouds, flying silently and extremely fast, even if someone paid attention to it, he would only think that his eyes were spent. Finally, Leo returned to his garage with 300 kilograms of vibrating gold. At this time, a phone call came in. Leo, where are you playing? It's time to go home for dinner. Aunt Jenny's voice came from the phone. 
Come on. Leo watched the 10,000 gold vibrating gold placed on the shelf in the garage, put his little school bag in his room, and went downstairs with a smile to prepare to eat. Auntie, what do you have for dinner today? I bought some Chinese dumplings from the supermarket. I heard they look delicious. Dinner table seeing Uncle George's excited expression, Leo was a little strange. Uncle George, what happened? You look very happy. Jenny agreed to let me change a car. I am going to buy a car tomorrow. Leo, do you want to refer to me? George said with a smile on his face. Uncle George, that old car has been running for 10 years. Every time I ride in the car, I have to worry that it will turn off, and there are some minor problems with its brake pads. You don't want to change it. Leo looked at the excited Uncle George and said, should I ask Mr. Stark for help, he promised to give me a sports car. Leo, what we can do on our own, don't ask others, let alone this little thing. Aunt Jenny said to Leo seriously. Yes, Leo, but the two months salary promised by Tony Stark has already paid you $10,000. I can now consider changing to a better car. George seems to be thinking about which one to buy. Leo looked at Uncle George, who was calculating, and then another metal thorn on his waist. Yes, on the way back, I made one with vibrating gold by the way, and looked at the two people who thought carefully in front of me with some speechlessness. Tony Stark has just returned home, looking at a copy of the New York Daily newspaper in his hand. The red and gold Iron Man armor is extremely handsome printed on the cover. The title says, Iron Man stabilizes the relationship between East and West. Put him in his drawer, patted his palms, Jarvis. At your service anytime, sir. Release the plan, I want to open it again, Stark Industry Fair. At night, Leo returned to his garage studio, closed the door, looked at the square and square vibrating metal block on the shelf, and moved it to his front. A square metal block about 50 centimeters long on one side was lightly scratched by Leo's palm, cut one third and put it back on the shelf. The remaining two thirds vibrated the gold nugget, and Leo put his hands lightly on it. Pulled to his side, and a rectangular silver metal block quickly thinned and formed a circle, enclosing Leo in the middle. Took out the palladium Mark II reactor, which was estimated to have half of the power, and held it in his hand. Turned around and took off the clothes on his upper body, revealing a well-proportioned figure, which is very different from the thin figure of the previous day. And now Leo's stature, when he is full, has grown to 1.4 meters in the past few months. Calm down, sit cross-legged on the ground, with a soft, click, and the garage becomes pitch black. Except for the white light on the reactor in his hand, countless golden asterisk 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 also poured out from the ring of gold around Leo. That's right, the golden ball of light pouring out, more like small golden droplets, blended into Leo's body. And the reactor in his hand also emits countless electric lights, wrapped around his arms, and plunged into the flesh. Leo can even feel a special power, slowly sprouting in his body, strengthening his body. There was also a faint purple light flowing around the vibrating gold beside. Little golden asterisk 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 of light kept emerging, this feeling of getting stronger gradually made Leo forget about time. Until the reactor in his hand completely lost its light, and the 200 kilograms of vibrating gold around him became very dim. Closed eyes slowly opened, and the clock on the wall told him it was 12 noon. The time of this practice is longer than the original fixed time. This is only 200 kilograms of vibrating gold, and the special energy in it also exceeds Leo's imagination. Looking at the dim metal plate around him, with a light touch of his finger, it broke into pieces and fell to the ground. Reached out to gather them together, put them in the waste bin, and looked at the vibrating gold left on the workbench and couldn't help thinking about it. Leo took a look at his attributes. The defense increased a bit, and the metal control value did not increase, but the strengthening of the iron bones increased by 2%, which was the efficiency of the previous 5 or 6 days. Temporarily put away the remaining vibrating gold, got up and moved his muscles and bones, and came to the kitchen. Turned on the TV by the way, preparing to make some food for himself. Two hours ago, Iron Man Tony Stark announced that he was preparing to hold a new Stark Industrial Fair in New York on the occasion of the arrival of 2010. This is since 1974, Stark Industries has held another industrial fair. People from all over the world will gather. 
A hostess on TV stood excitedly at the door of Stark Industries, broadcasting the news. Leo is not surprising. Since Tony announced that he is Iron Man, the stock of Stark Industries has skyrocketed. Now basically everyone is touting the superhero Iron Man. By the way, I made an appointment with Peter today and I want to take him to the Captain America Memorial Hall. Went out and came to Peter's house. It was also on vacation, but Peter, who was just eight years old, was still doing homework in the living room. Peter, go, brother takes you out to play. Aunt May also poked her head out of the room, with a layer of mask on her face. Ah, it's Leo, take Peter to play, you two little guys must pay attention to safety. Peter put down his pencil after listening, ran over excitedly, and went out with Leo. The two came to Captain America's Memorial Hall by bus, facing the overwhelming stars and stripes, Leo also selectively ignored them. This is also the first time Leo has come to this memorial, and Leo also knows that when Captain America was found to be unfrozen in 2011, it will also be changed to the Captain America Return Memorial. Peter was also very excited. The countless comic books and cartoons about Captain America he saw in elementary school basically made Captain America a hero in the hearts of all children. This kind of superhero recognized by the state and encouraged to promote propaganda may have a more profound impact on some adults who have no fun in childhood, such as Agent Coulson. Entered the hall and saw Roger's handsome face on the electronic screen at first glance. The symbol of the country, the hero of the world. Single quote. The story of Captain America is a story of honor, courage and sacrifice. Single quote. I'm not in good physical condition. An electronic horn on the side kept announcing the source of Steve Rogers' Captain America and some special war stories. There were also many children running around in the hall, and Peter also rushed out and started playing everywhere. Leo looked at it step by step. In the middle of the hall, he saw the portraits and uniforms of Captain America and his Roaring Commando group members. Next to it is an introduction to Bucky Barnes' deeds. Barnes is the only soldier in the Roaring Commando who died for his country. Single quote. There is still a black and white video of Rogers and Bucky being together on the screen. In a broadcasting room, Agent Carter's interview video in 1953 has been played on a loop, telling the story of Rogers breaking through the Hydra's defenses and saving more than a thousand people. Leo remembered some news about Captain America. Rogers' parents died young, he had no family, but Bucky was a partner. He was thin, sick, asthma, arrhythmia, high blood pressure, scarlet fever, etc. Repeatedly submitted false information to enroll in the army but was turned away. Every day, he was beaten. Because of this, I can't thistle day, has become his mantra. Even if life is like this, Dr. Erskine asked him, do you want to kill Nazi devils? Single quote. I don't want to kill anyone, I just want to end this war. Single quote. But when he finally participated in the experiment and became the first super soldier in history, who was strong and physically strong, couldn't wait to join the army immediately to realize his dream of dedication. However, the U.S. military actually asked him to do sales, sell national debt, become an idol trainee, and join the dancing group. Do you think, Civil War, is the beginning of Captain America rebellion against authority? No, it actually started here. Both he and Agent Carter thought that they could do more. Roger began to show his combat ability and eventually won the combat team captain. And Bucky was also with Rogers the whole time, and he said to Rogers. That little guy from Brooklyn like me, never gives up when he fights, I have to watch him. Single quote. At this time, Peter rushed from the side and took Leo's hand. Leo, let's go back, I'm hungry, I want to eat a hamburger. Go, buy it for you. The two left the memorial hall. Leo looked back one last time. He also wanted to see what this old man who had been sleeping for 70 years would be like. In the evening, Leo came to Tony's home with 50 kilograms of vibrato, still not seeing Tony's figure, and put the vibrato on the workbench. And he also found the arc reactor in the room that had been prepared for him. Days passed, Tony's hurrying figure didn't stop, Leo didn't ask how Zhenjin handled it. During the period, I went to the Salva Wharf in Africa twice, but did not see the shadow of Zhenjin. Isn't Crow not doing it? Leo has also been thinking about the books he brought back from Kamataj at home. 
He translated them all through Google, and even learned Sanskrit with his 21 mental value. For Leo, the remaining 50 kilograms of vibrating gold was almost used. Only two vibrating metal thorns were left on his body, and the rest was absorbed. And Leo has also been experimenting with this magic method of getting out of the body. I remember that Dr. Strange did not learn long enough to practice. I have been getting this book for more than two months, but there is no reaction at all. Single quote. Do I really have no talent for magic? Single quote. After Dr. Strange borrowed the book, the soul out of the aperture, to study, he learned this trick within a day. When the body sleeps at night, the soul can still read the book and learn. Also who can do this trick is Cassius who betrays the Ancient One, both of whom are extremely talented in magic. But at that time, Dr. Strange had been studying magic at Kamataj for half a year and had mastered the space portal proficiently. And Dr. Strange had experienced the experience of a soul being separated, but his soul could not be shaken even by Giyuyi. So, such a profound skill might still be a bit difficult for Leo now. And when Leo was sleeping, he seemed to touch his soul. Recently, New York is very lively. Maybe it's the coming of the new year, or the stocks industrial fair is about to be held. Technical talents from companies from all over the world are constantly coming here. Leo originally tried to go to the African continent to find Wakanda directly and get vibrancy, but Uncle George seems to have no life lately, and he drives around in his new BMW. Came to pick up Leo after school, and took Peter back by the way, and then took the two children to play around. Leo will not refuse Uncle George's love for him. Instead of wasting time to find Wakanda, he should wait for the Panthers to come out by himself or ask Nick Fury directly. Although the progress of cultivation has slowed down in the past two months, it is worthwhile to accompany Uncle George and Aunt Jenny to them. The metal control value has been increased to 113 points, and the four-dimensional attributes have all reached blackjack. Although the efficiency of iron bone enhancement is not so high, it has reached 49% of the progress. Leo took advantage of the time he was going for a walk after dinner and flew directly to Malibu, Tony's mansion. Came to the basement and looked at the rebuilt glass door and Tony Stark sitting on the chair. Opened the code lock straight. Mr. Stark, have you received my gift? Leo, how did you find this metal? Tony, who was drinking chlorophyll juice, saw Leo walking in and called out in surprise. Stepped forward and brought Leola over. Looking at the quarter of Zhenjin that had been disassembled, Tony patted Leo on the shoulder. Leo, I have tried several tests on this piece of metal, and found that it is difficult to perform processing operations, but these are minor problems, and it has a characteristic of absorbing energy, which reminds me of a metal, vibrating gold. This is Zhenjin. I'm not kidding you. The output of vibrating gold is surprisingly low in the world. My dad once bought some vibrating gold from the place of origin Wakanda, and then he couldn't buy it anymore. Now there is only some vibrating on the black market gold is in circulation, do you know how expensive it is? How expensive? Leo was really curious. Approximately, 11,000 US dollars per gram, that is to say, if you need to buy 50 kilograms, it will cost about 550 million US dollars. Leo took a deep breath. Although he had thought of the price, it was still a bit shocking to say from others. But still grinned, yes, it's Zhenjin. I brought it back from Africa specially. Do you think it works for you? Are you really kidding me? Tony knows that the vibrating shield born in his father's hands is already the only vibrating resource. Although there are still a small amount of vibrating on the black market, Tony has not thought about buying it yet. Even about the vibrating shield, his father told him, Tony has not seen the real thing. Where did you get it? Tony didn't turn a bit. Does it work for you? There are a lot of these things in Wakanda. I'm going to see them in a few days. No, for me, it's not very useful. Although Vibrating's defense is very outstanding, and it also has many characteristics that metal can't have, it is within my reference range. Tony immediately habitually refused. But I still looked at the vibrating piece in front of me, and it was surprising, this is the first time I have seen such a large vibrating piece. I think I can study it carefully. Leo saw four transparent glass cabinets inlaid on the wall on the side. Among them, Mark 1 to Mark 4 are placed from left to right, each of which represents Tony's improvement. Mr. Stark, how is your Mark 5 doing? Good question. 
Tony snapped his fingers excitedly, and a projection appeared in front of the two of them, and a three-dimensional projection of a red and silver box appeared on the ground. Mark 5, I also call it the safety briefcase. This is the simplification I made when I improved the assembly process on the Mark IV, so that I can respond to various emergencies at any time. Stepped on the box spread out, two hand grips appeared, and a virtual figure appeared at the same time, performing the assembly demonstration of Mark V. The box does not exceed 40 pounds, but there is no way to equip the weapon part, only the two-handed arc pulse gun and the cluster gun on the chest. Tony looked at the Mark V standing in front of him and said with some regret, the system is well equipped, but the flight altitude and speed are limited, and the armor has only a single layer design, made of lightweight titanium and steel, and is used for defense power is relatively low. Mark V is only to deal with emergencies, I think there should not be many opportunities to wear it. Leo's eyes lit up and he saw the strange black pattern on Tony's chest, which had begun to extend out of his chest. This was the phenomenon of palladium element poisoning. What about the reactor on your chest? What is the palladium content now? As soon as the problem came out, the atmosphere seemed to freeze. Leo, I think your Aunt Jenny is already urging to go home and go home to sleep. Remember to watch my opening ceremony in a few days. Reached out and snapped his fingers two times, and all the projections in front of him disappeared. Tony seemed to repel this topic a little turned around and sat back in his seat. Jarvis, post the process of the last industrial fair to my computer, and I will see how my dad did it. Leo looked at Tony who seemed to be an invisible person, and turned away helplessly. Tony's extreme self-confidence and narcissistic personality makes him want to have absolute control over his life. He believes in his abilities, thinks he can control his life, and has high expectations for the future. But once people with this personality understand that failure is inevitable, they are likely to collapse or even self-destruct. When Leo left, Tony was really devoted to the industry fair, and he was watching the video of Howard Stark in 1974. Looking at the exaggerated Howard in the blurry video, Stark decided to include such a paragraph at this fair. When he came back to his senses, Leo had already left took out the small portable blood test device he made, which is not much bigger than a lipstick. Pressed his thumb into the groove, and a small drop of blood was taken away by a needle at a very fast speed. The inaudible pain caused Tony to instinctively lift his palm. The display beside shows that blood toxin, 14%. Even the percentage is emphasized with dark red. But a glance at the steel armor behind him, and the countless reports about Iron Man heroes on the table, made Tony laugh again. No matter what, I am still the Iron Man who maintains world peace. A few days later, Flushing, New York finally ushered in his grand event. Stark Industry Fair, today's opening ceremony, and Iron Man Tony Stark will come here personally, which makes countless people excited. Leo also followed Aunt Jenny and they sat on the sofa watching the live broadcast of the opening ceremony. All the lenses are aimed at the center of the stage, and a performer who cannot see clearly stands behind the shadow. Countless fireworks began to be set off at the venue, and there was great music on the scene, and everyone was looking forward to the arrival of Iron Man. A red gold steel figure left from a height of 15,000 feet and descended from the sky, an extremely powerful landing action that instantly ignited the audience. The moment he landed, countless golden fireworks burst into his face. Oh, the crowds under the stage waved their hands, and all the lights on the stage lit up. The 16 beauties standing in the back row, wearing red and gold asterisk 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 bikinis, and with superb builds, also danced to the blast music. Iron Man's iconic white circular lamp is sandwiched between their chests. There are also white light rings on the palms of both hands and feet. But even if there are 16 hot asterisk 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 beauties behind, Everyone's eyes are still attracted by Iron Man, Tony Stark. The mechanical arm that had been prepared a long time ago took off Mark IV, and Tony, wearing a suit, looked at the tens of thousands of people carrying around with energetic eyes. This was something he had never experienced before. Tony's face also filled with an excited smile, which was exactly the result he wanted. Sixteen beauties rushed to him together, and at the last accent of the music, collectively raised his right hand to Tony, making the iconic action of Iron Man firing a pulse cannon. Tony. 
Tony, Tony, Tony. Everyone around shouted the name in unison, which made Tony feel proud. It's nice to be back, do you miss me a lot? Tony looked at everyone in the audience and said. After that, Tony suppressed the smile at the corner of his mouth, and started to speak plainly. I did not say that the world is immersed in the long-lasting state of peace because of me. Oh. What? People heard this and started to carve again. Neither did I say that no one in the world is reborn like me, like a phoenix on fire. I never said that Uncle Sam, can lie on a chair comfortably and drink iced tea leisurely because of me, always maintaining my peak state, no one dares to challenge me. The chaos of this period of time gave Tony full confidence in his Mark armor. This Tony Stark is really arrogant. It seems that no one has taught him for a long time. Aunt Jenny who was knitting a sweater suddenly raised her head and said. Uncle George looked at the newspaper and retorted. Jenny, he is still very good. At the very least, the world seems to be really peaceful recently. The newspapers often say that he is fighting chaos everywhere. I kind of like him. I love you, Tony. A screaming female voice came from the audience. Please, I'm not important. You are not important, we are not important, what is important is inheritance, what should we leave for future generations? So, starting next year, for the first time since 1974, the best talents, from different countries and companies around the world, will provide their resources, share their common vision, and create a better future. We are not important, so what I want to say is, welcome to the Stark Industrial Fair. This is what Tony wants to say in his heart. After discovering that he was poisoned, what he wanted to do, use the remaining time to create greater value for the world. A special guest will come back from a previous life to explain all this to you. Please welcome my father, Howard. Tony turned and left the stage, and Howard appeared on the huge screen behind him. All the audience cast their eyes on the big screen watching Howard's video, introducing the sand table map module of the exposition that year, a huge circular map design. Tony tested his blood again under the stage, blood toxicity, 19%. Looking at this dazzling number, I was taken aback and shook his hand. When I looked back, I saw Howard leaning on the edge of the model. Welcome to the Stark Industry Fair. The next day, Tony was ordered to go to Washington to join the Senate Armed Services Committee. The senator on the stage smiled and looked at Tony Stark without a smile. Mr. Stark, shall we continue with the issue just now? Mr. Stark, can you pay attention to me? The senator tapped the small wooden hammer in front of the stage and said. Only then called Tony, who had been chatting with Pepper, to come back. Of course, my dear, you continue. Tony said with a smile, causing a burst of laughter around him. Do you own a special weapon? I do not have. You have not. I don't have one, it depends on what you think is a weapon. Tony replied seriously. Iron Man is a weapon. My invention is not a weapon. That, how do you describe it? The fat senator asked. It's what it is, senator, it's a high-tech prosthetic. Tony Stark said confidently, which is what he thinks now. Because for him, a battle suit without a reactor is not a weapon. It is just a high-tech exoskeleton, not a weapon. Only I personally control the suit is the Iron Man. I thought that giving the Iron Man this weapon to the American people is the priority. The senator did not listen to his sophistry and said directly. Don't even think about it. I am Iron Man. I am integrated with the steel armor. Handing over Iron Man means surrendering myself. This is considered labor or prostitution, depending on which state you are in. Listen, I am not an expert. Are you an expert? Of course not, you are a senator, okay. Tony's words caused a lot of people present to laugh. Tony thought he looked at Pepper with a sense of humor, but Pepper shook his head without any smile. I am not a weapon expert, but we have invited a weapon expert, Justin Hammer, the main arms dealer of the Ministry of Defense. The senator on stage said. Tony felt a little cheer when he heard the name. I saw Mr. Hammer come in, but I did not see the weapon expert. Since Stark Industries announced the closure of the weapons manufacturing department, the Department of Defense business has been taken over by Hanmer Industries. However, Tony Stark has always looked down on the things made by Hanmer Industries, a guy who only knows how to use money, and the effect is still mentally retarded. Although Justin Hammer doesn't know how to make weapons at all, his specialty is speaking. 
Maybe I am not an expert, but do you know who is the real expert? Justin stood in front, holding the microphone, speaking with ease, pointing to Stark, your father. Howard Stark. He is not only our patriarch, but also the father of military industry, but please make sure that he is not a flower child, he is a lion. Justin grasped the rhythm of speaking, guided everyone, and looked at Tony. We all know why we came here. For half a year, Tony Stark built a sharp sword, but he insisted that it was just a shield. He wants us to trust him and hide behind him. I really hope I feel safe. I really hope that. I really hope that I don't need to lock the door when I go out. But this is not Canada. We live in a dangerous world, full of dangers that Mr. Stark could not possibly predict. Thank you. Well said, Mr. Hammer. The smiling senator was very satisfied with Justin's answer. Now we want to invite Lieutenant Colonel James Rhodes to attend the meeting. Rhodes. Tony couldn't believe that his good friend Rod was also involved in this meeting against him. Rod came up, and Tony greeted him, Brother, I didn't expect you to come. It's me, I'm here, accept the facts, go ahead. Road faced countless cameras around him, and he could only say so. I just. Stop talking. Well, I won't say any more. Tony sat back in his seat somewhat disappointed. Lieutenant Colonel, please read paragraph 4 on page 57. Your Excellency Senator, I think you should know that just reading a paragraph cannot represent my complete report. Rod said with some resistance. Please read it out, Lieutenant Colonel, I understand, thank you. The Senator felt that he had the upper hand, and said to Rod with a smile. But Rod, as a soldier, could not defy this superior's order. Since Iron Man is not affiliated with any unit, Iron Man has potential safety. Rod stated a point that criticized Iron Man, but when he wanted to make a final favorable conclusion, he was interrupted by the senator and did not ask him to say it. At the same time, the senator requested to call up some videos from the materials provided by Rhodes. On the big screen in the conference hall, pictures taken by military satellites appeared, intelligence shows that the devices in these images are actually fakes of Mr. Stark's steel armor. This has been. Tony also realized that such a thing would happen, and took out his own fully transparent touch microcomputer. Began to search for this kind of video through the database and his own satellite photography records, but within 30 seconds, he found the relevant information. Directly pointed the transparent screen at the big screen, wait a minute, there is something, I'm really good, I control your screen. Tony couldn't help but praise himself. Several black code boxes appeared on the electronic screen and quickly hacked into the computer. Tony clicked twice on his little transparent screen, I need transparency. I should make it all transparent. What did he do? The senator, who was still smiling, sat up and asked in a panic. Let's take a look at what is going on. Please look at the computer screen. I believe it is North Korea. Tony Stark tapped the screen in his hand twice. A robot with a bloated upper body appeared on the big screen, with a soldier sitting in it. Before he took the second step, he fell to the ground. The two rotating machine guns equipped in the manipulator began to shoot at the surrounding crowd indiscriminately, and blood splashed on the lens. Everyone was shocked by this scene, and the senator stood up, can you turn it off? Turn it off immediately. Iran. Tony looked at the screen and clicked again. As soon as the picture turned, a machine flew up and sprinted down less than 10 meters away, unable to stop. It started flying indiscriminately and hitting everyone, armored vehicles and other equipment. Is that Justin Hammer? Tony asked deliberately, looking at the figure on the screen. Justin, you're on TV, the focal point. Justin's figure appeared on the electronic screen, with a humanoid robot standing next to him, experimenting with action steps, raising his legs, and reaching out. But as Justin twisted his waist, the robot next to him did not move, and his upper body directly rotated 180 degrees. An extremely painful scream came from the armor, and the robot instantly turned off and stopped moving. And Justin, who had been hurriedly looking for the switch in front of the TV, unplugged the plug directly from below, which prevented Tony from continuing to broadcast. But many people who watched these videos couldn't bear to look straight, even the senator on the stage was a little embarrassed to block his face. Tony sat and said, most countries will take 5 to 10 years, but. Gestured to the flustered Justin, Hammer Industries, it will take at least 20 years. 
Hanmer grabbed the microphone and quickly emphasized, let me explain, that driver is not dead. Senator said in a hurry I think we have seen enough, I don't think there is any reason. I guess I can only say, you are welcome. What do you mean? I can prevent the intimidation of nuclear war. Iron Man is very useful. We are very safe. The United States is very safe. Do you want my product? I didn't even think about it. However, I did you a great favor. Tony stood up, openly facing the hundreds of people sitting underneath and countless media reporters. I can maintain world peace by myself. Raised asterisk 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 and made a gesture of peace in his mind, which was taught by the soldier. Everyone got up to applaud Tony Stark, and countless flashes were exposed to record this scene. What do you want from me? This is it now. Tony yelled, turning his head to look at the senator on stage, I'm trying to work with those clowns. But the senator was so angry that he cursed directly in front of the media, Q, Mr. Stark. Tony put on his sunglasses, and amidst the cheers of everyone, he blew a kiss to the senator and left happily. In the civilian room in Russia, Ivan Fanko watched the energetic Tony Stark on TV, completing the final steps of the device in his hands. Flicking the switch, the two whip-like devices appeared with naked eye current plasma filling the whip body. Ivan put a simple exoskeleton device on his body, held the whip in both hands, and charged it. With a vigorous wave of his arm, the electric spark on the whip easily cuts the TV and the TV cabinet below cleanly and in half. Leo glanced around. Uncle George was out to work. Aunt Jenny seemed to take Aunt May and Peter to the supermarket to buy things. Left them a note on the table, Mr. Stark took me to Los Angeles during the winter vacation, don't worry about me, I'll be back in a few days. Single quote. After explaining, he carried his little school bag, and flew quickly to Tony's house. Went directly into the underground studio through the passage of the garage. As soon as I entered, I saw Tony's hands resting on Pepper's shoulders. Both of them looked at each other in a daze, without speaking. Well, did I come at the wrong time? Leo secretly raised his hand from the side. The two looked at Leo, but both ignored him. Tony glanced at Pepper again, okay, that's it. Said, walking towards Leo, a robotic arm also stopped by Leo's side with a bottle of champagne. Believe it or not, I thought about it for a long time. I even found some candidates and thought about who was the most suitable one. I found out later, it was you, it was always you. Bo, Tony opened the champagne cork and sprayed it out, I thought there would be legal issues, but I can appoint my successor, that is, you. Pepper listened to Tony in shock, and unconsciously sat on the sofa and stared at Tony in a daze. Tony poured two glasses of champagne, looked down at Leo and said. Good luck, it's a good time, I have to drink and pour myself, and. Tony took the opportunity to lie down and said, you are not allowed to tell Pepper about me. Turned around and walked in front of Pepper, and passed a glass of champagne. Congratulations. Pepper looked at the champagne in front of him and still couldn't believe it. He didn't know what expression to make, but his eyes became wet unconsciously. I, I don't know what to think. Don't think about it, drink it. Tony also sat down, next to Pepper. Pepper took the champagne at a loss, and flicked a glass with Tony in a panic. The crisp sound of clinking the glasses made Pepper laugh unconsciously. Both of them drank the champagne in their hands. Leo also poured himself a glass of champagne silently. Looking at the two people who were smiling at each other, he felt that the high-end champagne in his hand suddenly lost its taste. Was about to take a sip and taste it, Leo, you are not allowed to drink, you are not yet 21 years old. Pepper saw Leo holding the wine glass and said quickly. Pepper came over and took the cup in Leo's hand. I ate it in one bite, I think I need to calm down, Mr. Stark, I'm going to work first. Oh, it seems that our new CEO has already started work. Tony also walked over. Who told you not to drink faster, now she is the boss. Pepper left the studio with an unconcealable smile. What happened? I gave Pepper the position of CEO of Stark Industries. Tony poured himself another glass of champagne and patted Leo on the shoulder, you have grown taller again. Leo looked at Pepper's leaving figure, and shook his head with some regret. She thought it was a good thing, Tisk, she may be annoying in the future. How did you come? Tony sat back in his chair and pushed the cigar box in front of him aside. 
I feel that something may happen recently, and your condition is getting worse. This is not a good trend. Leo picked up a palladium fuel plate that was mostly burnt from the trash can. In a displacement metal palladium reactor, the metal palladium neutrons are damaged. This form of utilization is not as good as a built-in ring-shaped reactor. Mr. Stark, you should understand your condition yourself. Tony's hand that had been typing on the keyboard also paused. It seems that you have learned a little after watching me for so long. It's still early, things are better than I thought. Tony said in a relaxed tone. If Leo hadn't known the truth, he might have believed it. The palladium element infection is not a little bit, and the poisoning speed will only get faster and faster. Unless Tony doesn't wear steel armor anymore, but it's obviously impossible. Leo didn't go on, either, he was never anxious about things he was confident of solving. Hope, Mr. Stark, are there any arrangements recently? Leo sat aside, as if he was back when he was the Mark II. Of course, I'm going to Morocco in a few days. Stark Industries has participated in a racing race there. Have you ever seen a car? How about going together? Not bad, I'm going to see it, it must be very exciting. Tony continued to type digital codes on the computer that Leo couldn't understand, and it didn't look like he was designing Mark VI. And Leo took a brand new reactor and returned to his room to continue his practice, hoping to wash the iron bone to 50%. The next afternoon, Leo stood on the ring, watching Tony and Harpy are exercising and boxing. If you weren't afraid of moving too much for fear of hurting Leo, you would have been lying on the ground. Happy said in sweat. Tony hit Harpy's glove with another punch, worry about him, or worry about yourself. If you can't beat him in 10, I should ask him to be a bodyguard. The joke and argument between the two, until Pepper came in with Natasha. A big burgundy wave, tight-fitting low-collar white shirt, high-waisted black flared pants, plus a nice face and hot body, all attracted Tony's attention. Happy was suddenly hit to the corner of the ring by a set of Tony's combination punches, can't help begging for mercy. Tony also succeeded in attracting the attention of the two women, and pointed at the new beauty. What's your name, miss? Rocheman, Natalie Rocheman. Natasha replied calmly. Come here, please go to the ring. Tony said, opening the border rope. Natasha came over, bent over, raised her body, and looked straight at Tony in front of her, reaching the target person. Even Tony was a little embarrassed to be seen, smiled, and pointed to Happy, can you teach her? No problem, Harpy replied, wanting to come over. Leo, who had been following Natasha, suddenly reached out and stopped Harpy. Let me come, are you a big man embarrassed to bully a beautiful woman? Leo smiled and walked to Natasha, looking at this internationally famous Black Widow agent. Natasha's style and personality are all dressed up for Tony's usual habits, and they all hit Tony's hobbies. This is also her regular contact operation. Tony walked directly to Pepper's side, who is she? She is from the legal department, she may put you in a harassment lawsuit. Tony turned his head and looked at Pepper. I need a new assistant, boss. I have three candidates with great potential, waiting for you to interview them. Pepper looked at Tony and said. I don't have time for an interview. I want one now. I think it's her. Tony said while looking at Natasha on the stage. Absolutely not. Pepper was jealous. Leo looked at the asterisk 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 and beautiful Natasha in front of him. But in my mind, I always remembered that the widow sister jumped on the Vormer star. Let me go, it, soak. That was the last word left by the widow in the world. As the only woman in the original Avengers, she was also the first superhero to die. And her death also caused Leo, who had watched the final game countless times, to tear. In Natasha's heart, S.H.I.E.L.D., the Avengers are above everything else, these are her homes. Just like everyone stood at the exit of the quantum realm in the end, she was the only one who did not return. Tony asked, does she have family? That's us. This is Roger's answer. If it weren't for Nebula's information synchronization, I think that after Banner snapped her fingers, that would be the ending she most wanted to see, and the ending she was willing to exchange with her life. She is alone, with no relatives, no lovers, and the end is to be buried on a dead star that is not known many light years away from the Earth. She was too lonely. Compared with the heroicness of Iron Man, her sacrifice was too quiet, and she was sacrificed in the past point in time. 
Thinking of all this, Leo couldn't help but see a little terror in his eyes. Natasha, who was across from her, looked at the little guy who was only four feet tall, with some doubts in her heart. Who is this kid? Why is there no information about him? Also, why does he seem to be crying? Single quote. Are you okay? Leo came back to his senses and shook his head when he saw the beautiful figure in front of him. Excuse me, the divergent thinking in my mind is getting worse recently. Leo patted his head. He is familiar with the plot, and he can easily substitute the present characters into the future by accident. This is not a good habit and has to be changed. How do you spell your last name, Natalie? Natasha, whose focus has always been on Tony, of course turned her head back and said, Rushman. Tony googled directly on the smart desktop computer screen. And Leo punched in the past, the target was Natasha's abdomen. Don't look at Leo so wretched, he is only so tall. Natasha, who is always vigilant, didn't expect to feel a huge threat on Leo, the child. Even this heavy threat made her too late to think, and the fighting instinct grabbed Leo's fist. Flew up in the air, trying to lock Leo's head with his leg joints, and then using the body's strong inertia and weight to knock down his opponent. Then she can use joint skills to directly stun the enemy quickly. But embarrassingly, Natasha's legs have clamped Leo's head, but Leo has not fallen down. Fix the golden body, the powerful buff brought to Leo prevents him from being forced to fall. Even with strong inertia and Natasha's weight on Leo's head, his feet are still standing firmly on the ground. So Natasha hung herself on Leo. Although it seemed very illogical, it was actually the case. This scene also surprised Pepper, and Tony who was looking at Natasha's model photos. My goodness. Pepper cried out in horror, and both of them hurried over. Natasha didn't expect this to happen, but the threat of Leo's punch just now still left her in fear. Turned around and jumped down, stood aside, adjusted his clothes, and stared at Leo with some alertness. This is an unknown number in the mission, and even Nick Fury has not mentioned his existence. Tony stepped forward and held Natasha, Natalie, are you okay? Leo, don't pay attention. Leo, who is still on stage, gave Tony a speechless look and walked down. Of course, Tony was just babbling. Since returning from Afghanistan, he has never looked for a woman again. Natasha did not forget her current identity, and handed the contract to Tony, I need your fingerprint. You are calm and mature. I mean your fingerprints. Okay. Tony pressed his fingerprint on the contract with a hint of embarrassment, indicating that the contract came into effect. Tony pointed to the fresh fingerprint on the contract and said to Pepper, you are the boss. Pepper also smiled on his face. Is there anything else, Mr. Stark? It's okay, Miss Rocheman, thank you very much. Pepper said, looking at Natasha. Natasha did not stay too much, turned and walked away, before finally leaving, she looked back at Leo, this mysterious and powerful young man. The two looked side by side at the back of Natasha leaving. I want this one. No way. Leo came over, and Pepper asked. Leo, how are you? Didn't hurt you just now. No one can hurt him, Pepper, he is a little monster. Tony said with a smile. Two days later, Leo followed Tony and Pepper to Monaco. Walking off the Rolls Royce, still Hapy drove. When he finally came down, Mark V was still in the hands of Harpy. In any case, Harpy was one of Tony's most trusted people. Entered the hotel, and Natasha, wearing a red low-necked skirt, came over. Said with a smile, Mr. Stark, is the journey smooth? Very good, really nice to meet you, you look beautiful. A photographer from the Monaco Racing Club came up to take a photo. Pepper gritted his teeth and said, when did you hire her? What? You asked me to do this. What do I want you to do? Smile, look at the camera. Tony smiled politely and faced the camera. Your old problem has committed again Pepper is a little angry. Natalie, what's the schedule? There will be dinner at half past nine. Great, I will be there on time at eleven. Leo directly sat on the bar, ordered a glass of coke, and looked at everyone around him with his eyes glistening. Let me see, is Ivan Fanko here? Single quote. Ivan had already inquired, knowing that Tony Stark would attend the Monaco party in person, and used all his belongings in exchange for a ticket. Was prepared for today's ambush a long time ago, and even killed an insider and put on his clothes. 
For him, wherever he meets Tony Stark, he will be killed directly. Since Tony came to the game, Ivan had already made plans to die. Leo looked around for a week and did not find Ivan, but he also saw an acquaintance. Christine, a female reporter, followed Justin Hammer to Tony. Leo drank coke and looked at Justin Hammer, whose order the military had cancelled because of the last meeting. And the purpose of Hammer's search this time was to find Tony, trying to get a showroom at the Stark Industry Fair. But Tony gave Hammer no face, if you invent something that can be used, I will definitely reserve a showroom for you. Hanmo was embarrassed in front of the reporter. Tony tested it again in the bathroom. Blood toxicity, 53%, a figure that made Tony a little desperate. Looking at himself in the mirror, a thought popped up in his head. Was broadcasting live on TV, and suddenly there was chaos. A large group of reporters with microphones and cameras and many female fans came out from the entrance of the competition, and they surrounded Tony. Dressed in a dark blue racing suit, Tony jumped over the wall and entered the track and entered the battle zone. There was also a live camera aimed at Tony. The purpose of owning a car is to race. Otherwise, why do you want a car? Pepper also noticed the familiar figure on TV, anxiously, Natalie, Natalie. Natasha came over, Miss Potts. Do you know he wants to race? I only know now, how can I help you? Where is Harpy? He is outside. Go find him, I need Harpy. Pepper said anxiously while watching TV. Natasha also turned around and went out, very conscientious. Leo also saw this scene and walked out of the gate to the edge of the track. In the crowd, Leo was like a small fish, slipping through it. Is still searching for Ivan's location. Looking along the track, sure enough, not far away, I saw Ivan with abnormal clothes bulging. Is about a kilometer away from Leo, but now that I have seen it, it's easy to say. Ivan was ready to enter the track and just took off his helmet. Hasn't walked a few meters, as Leo stretched out his hand, he could no longer move. Ivan's entire upper body wears exoskeleton equipment that is hand polished by one person throughout the entire process, and part of the load-bearing connecting parts are made of civilian bottom products. The same, simple exoskeleton equipment, no leg exoskeleton, waist and abdomen power components. The main thing is the ring-shaped booster parts of the arms, which can increase the strength of the arms. Generally speaking, it is very simple, even two plasma whips, which require high motor nerve quality of the user, otherwise, it is easy to accidentally hurt yourself if you are not careful. But it is undeniable that the impact current on the whip can have a disturbing effect on the armor. And can easily cut off the body of the formula car, with strong destructive power. But now, the exoskeleton part of his entire upper body is locked in the air, no matter how hard Ivan is, he can't break away. At this moment, Ivan felt unprecedented fear, and even thought that Tony Stark had anticipated his arrival and was prepared. So now he is standing on the edge of the track, unable to move, and can even lift his feet up, so that the upper body armor can carry his weight of a hundred tens of caddies. Leo continued to walk towards the track without a hassle, and the cars rushed past Ivan one by one. Ivan, who was abrupt on the side of the road, also caught the attention of live cameras. A worker standing on the side of the track, why is he motionless, what is he doing? Single quote. Ivan saw Tony's blue and white racing car and couldn't bear it. With a press of his hands, the two whips were driven by the wheels on the back and extended, and at the same time triggered the charging switch. The powerful current path burned the work clothes directly, exposing the reactor in the center of the chest. It was just the reactor that made Tony, who had just rushed past Ivan, stepped on the brake and stopped a dozen meters away. Pepper also saw Ivan's figure, and found something was wrong, Harpy was already standing at the door. Happy, Tony may be in danger, we have to hurry over. Where's the briefcase? Pepper looked at Harpy's bare hands, why the briefcase he had been holding on to him was missing, and asked in a panic. Leo was snatched away, he said he would take it to Tony. Harpy also said anxiously. What? Leo took it. When? Five minutes ago. In any case, the two hurried to the finish line. Similarly, this scene was seen by Justin Hammer who had been in the lobby of the hotel. He looked at the reactor on his chest with a gleam in his eyes. Leo also covered his face, it's boring, I want to see how far Tony can finish. Single quote. 
looked at Tony who had gotten out of the car again, watching Ivan from a distance. Do you want to kill Ivan directly? Leo was thinking. At this time, a few more cars ran out from the back of the track, looking at the two figures in front. One of the cars turned sharply and crossed the middle of the road, and the two cars behind were about to crash into it. Leo stretched out his hand and forced the two cars behind to steer, even raised the body, and braked slowly after crossing the first car. He also walked to the very edge of the track, allowing Tony to see his existence. Tony saw the briefcase in Leo's hands, his eyes lit up, and he shouted, give me the briefcase. Leo threw it over, need help. Leo, go away, I will solve it myself. Tony triggers the switch, and the Mark V briefcase changes shape. Lifted both hands to clasp on the chest, and stretched out both hands. The remaining external armor was like a shrimp shell, which was stretched and buckled one after another. The same is true for the external parts of the legs, extending and merging, although the defense power has been weakened a lot, but I have to say that this is really cool. In less than 20 seconds, Mark V has been equipped. Wow. The people around cheered instantly. This is the first time that the audience has come to see how Tony Stark became Iron Man. At the same time, countless cameras also pointed at the steel figure in the middle, Iron Man, once again appeared in front of audiences across the country. Leo also loosened control of Ivan along the way. Now that Tony has let Leo leave, let's make the scene bigger. After thinking about it for a long time, Leo felt that such a battle was still needed. Now Tony Stark changed his temperament greatly after putting on the steel suit. Will he, who has never experienced frustration, become the Iron Man from his previous life? Tony now enjoys the title of Iron Man. Numerous praises and glory have gone to his head, coupled with the threat of death from palladium poisoning, and the possibility of reactor leakage. The situation created by these will be Tony's strongest mental activity and resistance in history, and all these will create a transformed Tony Stark. Leo also happily appreciates the fun that he could not enjoy in his previous life, watching Lost Whip 1.0 fight against Mark V, the weakest defensive force. Ivan felt that he was able to move, and was completely unafraid of Tony in front of him, so he took two whips and walked up. The booster on his arm drove a strong inertia, and a whip was drawn on Mark V's body, leaving a deep black whip trail. The electronic impact on the whip made Tony's pulse cannons with both hands extinguished at the muzzle, and at the same time, another plasma whip was wrapped around. Ivan added a booster device, directly threw Tony up, smashed it on the car, and made a big hole. When Tony is entangled by the whip, the pulse cannon cannot be used, so he can only fight in close combat. Using the advantages of the full body armor, coupled with the super power of mechanical assistance, using the damage rate of Mark V in exchange for a melee opportunity. Was just a move and brought down Ivan, who had no defense. The powerful force could only make him vomit blood while lying on the ground. The reactor on his chest was unplugged, and the weak Ivan was dragged away by the security guard, but he was still laughing wildly and yelling, you lose, you lose, Stark. Leo can see Tony's frowning brow and worried eyes through Mark V's mask. Pepper and Harpy also rushed over with the ambulance. Fortunately, Liu was there, no masses were injured, and no accident occurred to the racers. Even with the exception of Tony's car, the other cars were intact. Seeing this scene, Justin Hammer laughed, with a plan in his mind. Two hours later, Tony came to the cell where Ivan was being held. The two are in a secret room, and Ivan's hands and feet are restricted. Your family is thieves and butchers. Like every sinner, you want to rewrite your history and forget the lives of the Stark family. Where did my design drawings come in? My father, Anton Fank, you didn't die because of him. I didn't die because you wanted to kill me, but you failed. Ivan listened, but laughed. If you can make God bleed, people will not believe him. When there is blood in the water, sharks will be attracted. As long as I sit here and watch, the world will swallow you. Palladium poisoning is very painful. On the return flight, Tony hid in the kitchen. Every word of Ivan hit his heart hard. Iron Man's myth has been shattered, the arc reactor is no longer just his patent, and the Mark V, which is basically scrapped, has his wounds appearing in front of everyone. At this moment, Tony, who is about to collapse, wants to go out with Pepper and relax. Walking out of the kitchen, 
looking at Pepper outside, and Leo sitting on a plate drinking Coke, Tony's face became frustrated. On TV, the obese senator at the hearing ridiculed the scene. Tony Stark said that steel armor will not appear anywhere, never appear anywhere, at least in the next five to ten years. Mute. Tony sat down, put the tray in his hand in front of Pepper, and drew a few knives and forks from his trouser pocket. What is that? Pepper asked. Your meal on board. Tony opened it and saw it was a plate of fried mushroom omelet. You did this? Yes, what do you think I'm doing these three hours? Tony looked at Pepper and said. Leo leaned in and took a look. Leo, not for you. Oh, I'm so lucky. Leo lay down again. What are you hiding from me? Pepper stared at Tony, with doubts in his eyes, helplessness and sadness. Ten years of company, so that she has discovered Tony's anomaly. Tony looked at Pepper seriously, I don't want to go home at all. Cancel my birthday party, we are in Europe, go to Venice to stay in Sapuani Hotel. Do you remember? Pepper also seemed to think of something, and couldn't help but smile. Remember. Living there, okay, okay, good for your health. Tony looked at Pepper and said. Now is not a good time, a lot of things have to be cleaned up, as the CEO, I must be in the company. You, as the CEO, have the right to leave. U.S. employees on vacation. On vacation. At this critical juncture, Pepper's eyes widened and looked at Tony in shock. She didn't know the truth. She really didn't understand that Tony would say such a thing. Just take the car. Tony was afraid to look directly at Pepper's eyes. Tony's eyes darkened, and his voice became smaller and he lowered his head. As long as we recharge it, we will figure out a way. Not every one of us lives on batteries, Tony. Pepper said, looking at Tony. Tony raised his head and smiled at Pepper who had been staring at him. But the smile didn't last for a second, his head turned back, his eyes filled with disappointment. Looking out the window, the incredible Tony Stark frowned. He knew that he had tested all the elements and could not replace the palladium metal. So as long as he continues to wear the steel suit, he will get closer and closer to death. Leo looked at Tony Stark, who looked down at the window, and had never seen him so disappointed and painful. At the same time, Ivan, who was arrested in Monaco and just put in a private cell, is desperately waiting to be sentenced, and then spends the rest of his life in prison. But it was clear that the meal hadn't arrived yet, but a plate was placed at the door. Ivan picked it up and found that there was a plastic time bomb in the place where the mashed potatoes were supposed to be. At the same time, a prisoner who was about the same size as his was pushed into the door. Glanced at the number on the prisoner with the same number as himself, and laughed a little sullenly. So, after an explosion, Ivan was sent to a secret factory in Queens, New York, in exchange for a prince by a civet cat. And Justin Hammer has set the table here long ago, waiting for his arrival. In a seaside mansion in Malibu. Pepper and Natasha kept making calls in the lobby without stopping for a moment. Because of the Monaco incident, news about Iron Man was mentioned on many TV shows. The masses questioned whether Iron Man can protect their safety. When Pepper and Natasha were in a hurry, Rod walked in angrily. Where is he? Natasha turned her head and said, he doesn't want to be disturbed. He's downstairs. Pepper said without turning his head back, and then quickly continued to negotiate with the voice on the phone. Pepper was a little angry that Tony didn't come out to help, and also hoped that Rod would persuade Tony. Tony returned home and sat at his desk in a daze. The huge projection screen in front of him contained all the information about Anton Fanko. Jarvis' voice came. The search is complete, sir. Anton Fanko is a Soviet physicist who defected to the United States in 1963, but he was accused of being a spy and was deported in 1967. His son Ivan, also a physicist, was sentenced to 15 years in Kopesk prison for reselling weapon-grade plutonium materials to Pakistan during the Soviet period. There is no other record. Rod directly opened the door with his own password and looked at Tony sitting at the table. Tony, I have been talking on the phone with the militia all day, persuading them not to drive a tank, smash through your door, and take these away. Rod pointed to the armor on the wall and said, they want to take your steel armor, they don't bother to play games with you. Are you listening? Tony still sat there blankly. Leo walked over and brought the box with the palladium board to Tony. Is the government ready to rob it? 
Is it robbing the armor or the reactor? Leo looked at the helmets on the wall with no energy source and laughed. Rod also saw Tony with a very bad face. Tony, are you okay? Because Ivan's reactor appeared, Tony fell into endless self-blame. No one knows if Ivan leaked the reactor. It may not be long before a large number of inferior armors will appear on the black market. Wars of all sizes will erupt because of their own countless people will die. In addition, Tony himself has a tendency to self-destruct, that is to say, Tony at this time is already determined to die. Tony, with a very bad face, took down the reactor, took out the burnt and smoking palladium plate in it, and put a new one in it. Rod looked at the smoking and disgusting palladium plate, and asked in shock, you put this thing in your body. What's the matter with the anagram on your neck? Tony was silent for a moment, abrasions. Rod was also silent for a while, worriedly watching Tony drinking chlorophyll juice. You don't need to be the savior by yourself, you don't need to rely on yourself. I believe what you said, but you have to trust me. Most people have misunderstandings about me, I know exactly what I'm doing. Tony stared at the two stubbornly. That night, Tony and Leo sat in the studio and did nothing. Tony stared at the computer screen dreamily, not knowing what he was thinking. Leo sucked Sprite and dangled in the basement. Tony, you externally installed the energy source of Mark II. What? Did you figure it out? Tony smiled bitterly. Give it to Rod. He wanted it a long time ago. And I also gave Rod the permission, which can be regarded as an explanation to the military. Why do you want to die? Didn't I tell you a long time ago? My eyes can see a lot of things, but you never believed it. Leo walked up to Tony, have you tried all the elements? Already tried. Then, have you ever thought about discovering a new element? How is this possible? Tony cheered up, but quickly lay down again. Do you think that discovering new elements is as easy as your meal? Oh no, your appetite is not easy. Tony looked at Leo. In short, expanding new elements can't be done in a few days, Leo, don't you always say that you can see the past and the future? Then tell me what should I do? Tony, who has always believed in materialism, and even a little desperate, turned to Leo, who has always been a magic stick. Yes, although Leo had told some of his secrets before, Tony still regarded Leo as nonsense. In the end, Leo was a superpower, so Leo was allowed to join him. Leo's eyes burst out with golden light, his gaze pierced through the clothes, flesh and blood, directly into the blood vessels in Tony's chest. It can even be observed that the tiny impurities in the blood vessels can barely see the appearance of platelets, but everything is very fuzzy. Blinked his eyes, it seems that golden eyes vision enhancement is still limited, but I don't know whether it will be upgraded later. Stepped forward and pressed his hands on Tony's chest. Tony grinned at Leo's movements. I used to treat others like this. Leo tried to sense the palladium metal element in Tony's body, but it was too small, much smaller than metal powder. Tried to gather the metal atoms barely sensed, but couldn't do it at all. Whether it is mental power, insight, or control, it is not enough to control metal atoms now. Looking at Leo's appearance, Tony also shook his head in disappointment and pushed Leo away. Take a rest early, and remember to come to my birthday party tomorrow. Oh, I forgot, you are at my house, haha. Ha. At this moment, Tony seems to be back to what he used to be. Leo looked at Tony's leaving figure, Mr. Stark, there is a way. Tony stopped, Leo, don't give me hope anymore. Your father, Howard Stark, he has left you a clue to the new element, as long as you find it, within a few days, you can definitely succeed. Where is it? Only these two days, in these two days, someone will deliver things to you. Leo said while looking at Tony's back. Tony seemed to be refreshed, haha, it doesn't matter, I'm kind of looking forward to tomorrow's dinner. Leo shrugged, he doesn't believe it again, forget it, it's not dangerous anyway. With Natasha reporting the situation all the time, Nick Fury is ready for lithium dioxide. Single quote. Dot dot dot. From the afternoon of the next day, luxury cars that are rarely seen in ordinary times drove into the parking lot one after another. A wealthy man came down from the car, and among them there were many handsome guys with several female companions, all of whom were famous American playboys. 
In the room, Leo held the two built-in palladium Mark II arc reactors in his hands, and a huge amount of electricity surged along his arms to his shoulders, and then all was sucked into his body. The expensive gold titanium alloys prepared around him were like new wood turning into rotten wood, slowly fading and withering. A little bit of golden light slowly converged on Leo's whole body. The efficiency was much lower than that of Zhenjin, but the amount was large. Leo's metal control power has also been upgraded from 113 to 114 points. At the same time, the strengthening of the iron bone seems to have reached an opportunity. More and more golden light poured into Leo's body on the 206 bones, and the white bones in his body seemed to start to glow slightly. Tony stood in front of the window in his room, with Tony's reflection clearly printed on the huge floor-to-ceiling glass, and the black pattern on the reactor surrounding his chest had spread to the edge of his neck. There is also a blue font on the glass, palladium concentration, 89%. Natasha walked in in a light gray slim fitting tunic long dress with a watch box in her hand, which watch do you want to bring tonight? I'll wait and see. Tony quickly buttoned his open shirt, not wanting others to see these cursed patterns. Looked at himself in the mirror, turned around and asked, I should cancel the party, right? Probably. Natasha nodded and said, yes, because really, it's not time. Natasha continued. Brought the watch box over and sat down on the handle of Tony's sofa, showing her charm all the time. Tony glanced at the watch box in his hand, then glanced at Natasha. To be honest, I can't figure out your details, where are you from? Tony has investigated Natasha's background, but it is always a little illusory and unreal, but all of them are true. Tony is not relieved that such a person will be with Pepper. Law Department. Can I ask you a hypothetical question? The question is a bit weird. Tony swallowed. If this were your last birthday party, how would you celebrate? Natasha looked at Tony, do whatever you want with whomever you want. After Natasha left, Tony asked his own heart carefully, and drank a whole glass of martini. After Pepper returned home from the company after finishing his work, he walked in with a beautifully packaged gift box in his hand. Although I knew that today was Tony's birthday, I couldn't stand it when I saw Tony wearing Mark IV twisting his hips in front of the bar. Turned around and walked out. It was really nice to meet Rod who came over, what's the matter? Pepper took Rod back to the third floor lobby again, looking at the figure in the middle. I don't know what to do. Is this kidding? Rod looked at Tony who was drunk in armor, turned his head angrily and left. Enough, I want. Pepper stopped him, no, no, don't call anyone. Pepper didn't want the above to know about Tony, and Road was a buffer between Stark's industry and the military, which was very important. Pepper, it's so ridiculous, I just gave him a guarantee, and I tried my best to help him speak nicely. Rod pointed to Tony and said angrily. I know, let me fix it, can I fix it? Let me fix it, Pepper said to appease Rod. Hurry up, or I will come myself. Pepper walked over to negotiate with Tony. It was obvious that Tony, who was already drunk, didn't listen to Pepper's advice at all, and was going to continue having a party. Seeing this situation, Rod went directly to the basement angrily, looking at the thick Mark I and the broken Mark III. Naturally chose the middle, Tony had already prepared Mark II for him, but Tony didn't think that Rhodes would come to wear it now. The pure silver Mark II was buckled on Rod's body one by one, and he was angry that he didn't notice why the Mark II fits so well. Walked into the hall, Tony was playing a game of pulse cluster cannon hitting watermelon, surrounded by big-breasted girls in bikinis screaming. I only say it once. Rod wears Mark II and stood up, facing all the guests and sisters present. Get out. The big guy looked at Rod's dark face, coupled with the deterrence of the steel armor, ran out one after another. You don't deserve to wear steel armor, take him off. Mark II pointed to Tony and said. Came straight up and hugged Mark IV from behind, as if he wanted to take it off. Tony did smile, his mask was buttoned down, and the microphone in his hand was thrown away grabbing Rod's hands and rushing back. The two smashed through a wall and flew into the gym equipment room, and Rod fell to the side. Tony pushed back with both hands proficiently, ejected fireworks, and stopped his figure. Looking at Mark II lying on the ground, he walked towards the hall. Put it back so that no one gets hurt. Suddenly a 10 kilograms barbell flew over and hit Mark IV's head. 
When Tony turned his head, he avoided another piece of barbell, which was embedded in the wall. Is it real? Tony copied a barbell with a weight of 50 kilograms, as if holding a straw, and flew the Mark II out. Always, two powerful steel armors, at this time, are tangled together like a child fighting, no one can hurt anyone, just simply destroy the surrounding environment. The two kept fighting, breaking through a wall from time to time, breaking countless objects in the house. Pepper found Natasha in the lobby on the second floor angrily, Natalie. Miss Potts. Come on, I've seen through your tricks a long time ago, after you come, I will. Before they could finish, Tony and Rod fell from the third floor lobby to the second floor lobby, and smashed a grand piano into pieces. The two of them were fighting around without hesitation, and it seemed that there was a real fire. Harpy rushed in and hurriedly pulled Pepper out. Natasha also took the opportunity to leave the house and disappeared into the darkness. Pepper looked at the two steel figures fighting in the room, very anxious, suddenly thought of something, and quickly said to Harpy. Go and ask Leo to come over. Leo. That kid. Yes, Leo may have a way to stop the two lunatics. Pepper thought of the figure of Leo who had fallen from the sky, and he seemed to have always been confident. Go find him, it's in the guest room on the second floor. I'll evacuate the guests. Happy didn't hesitate, turned around and walked to the guest room. But everyone seemed to like to see the two fighting each other, and they all stood on the outside of the balcony, watching the excitement inside. Pepper couldn't persuade him to leave. Looking at the two people still fighting inside, he could only hope that Leo's arrival would be able to control the situation. Leo, who has been sitting in the room cultivating since noon, seems to have forgotten the passage of time, and the surrounding four tons of gold and titanium alloys have all dimmed. Even the two reactors on both hands were dimmed, as if they were going to go out in the next moment. All the remaining golden light poured into the bones, sinking into the bright red bone marrow. Rendered it all golden, the golden light slowly dissipated, but in the red bone marrow, there was always a faint golden light. At the same time, the strengthening of the iron bones has also risen to 50%. The door was suddenly opened, and chubby figures rushed in staggeringly. Leo, Leo. Leo opened his eyes, and at the same time, the light switch in the room was automatically pressed, illuminating a gentle white light. Happy, what's wrong, has the birthday party started? Tony and Rod are fighting, Pepper told me to come to you. Happy looked at the naked boy in front of him, and said anxiously. Leo listened, turned his head and looked out the window, it was already pitch black. Frowned involuntarily. What happened? Why is the perception of time getting worse, I thought it was only two hours later. Single quote. Both eyes lit up, and he directly saw the two in the hall, the two people who were punching me with your punch. Really, a good armor, used as a protective cover. Got up and picked up his clothes. Happy, you go and drive away all the people on the side, I will solve them. Followed along. A few consecutive punches made Tony, who was already drunk, a bit angry. He pressed Mark II's head down and directly smashed the marble counter on the side. Rod was beaten up a bit at this moment, and didn't get up. Tony turned his head and looked at the lively figures outside. Each of his faces were mocking or watching a show, and an unnamed anger rose in his heart. Stepped out and broke the floor tiles on the soles of his feet, and through the Mark IV loudspeaker equipment, a roar came out. Everyone was scared by Mark IV's posture and ran away, and they had no idea of continuing to watch. Mark II stood up, picked up a huge marble slab, and waved it out according to Mark IV. Smashed it into the fireplace, and the entire upper body was stuffed into the fire. Although he didn't cause any harm to Tony, he looked up at the dazzling fire, smashed the wall above the fireplace, turned his head and raised his right hand. Rod also raised his right hand when he saw this, put your hand down. Do you think you have the prospect of being Iron Man? We don't have to call, Tony, Rod said. You want to be a war machine, open fire. Let it go. Do you want to fire? Tony's Mark IV pulse cannon is already charging. Hurry down, Tony. Do not. Both palm pulse cannons are gathering energy at the same time. At this moment, a figure rushed over and approached the middle of the two. Both of you give your hands. Leo hadn't finished speaking yet, two pulse cannons that had been charged had been launched, and the center point was gathered in front of Leo. 
the energy convergence point rapidly increased, forming a large energy ball in less than a second. You all calm down. Leo stretched out his hands and placed the two armors in place, and a mask appeared on his body. The energy ball rose to its limit, exploded, and the resulting powerful impact caused everything around it to be impacted and flew away. Looking from a distance, a huge ball of smoke appeared throughout the mansion and rushed out. The smoke slowly dissipated, and Leo, who was in the center of the explosion, looked at the two facing each other unharmed. The huge shock wave this time even directly caused the crash of the armor system, only to recover after a few seconds. Moreover, the two people who were hit by the shock wave were aching all over, even if they had armored bodies, they were dizzy for a while before they recovered. Leo looked at the two people in front of him, stretched out his hand to pull Mark II up out of thin air. Directly flew out, go. The Mark II, which flew thousands of meters away, spewed out fireworks and stabilized his figure. Rod looked back at Tony in disappointment and turned to leave. Tony was lying on the ground, his mask opened, revealing a somewhat tired face, watching the bad things around him. The mask is buttoned up again. Leo, I'm going to bed, don't disturb me. Mark IV just lay in the ruins of the villa, motionless. Leo came outside the house, and the last remaining Pepper and Harpy stood at the door, saw the figure in the middle. Who did not understand the truth, she was also angry and turned and left, happy, let's go to the company, let him lie there alone. The two also drove out of here. Leo is the only one left, and Tony, who is sleeping in Mark IV, is autistic. Leo looked at Tony lying on the ground and sighed. Leave the company to Pepper, and give the armor to Rhodes. You always like to carry everything on your body alone. The nuclear bomb came, and I wanted to carry it. I was really a fool. Seeing all the mess around, Leo floated out of thin air, and several metal steel bars flew to Leo's side. Turned into a dozen wires, flew to every corner of the room, wrapped up all the wreckage and pulled it out. In less than 10 minutes of work, a hill of scraps was piled up outside the house, but there were no scattered debris in each room. Is this treating me as a nanny? Single quote. Leo stood in front of Mark IV and reached out to disassemble Mark IV. Tony also fell to the ground and woke up. Did it dawn? Tony said, rubbing his eyes. Leo thought about the mental energy sweeping Tony's body just now, and something else seemed to happen. Looked directly at the faint golden light on his bones, as if he was also under his control. Reached out a finger and tapped it between Tony's ribs. A little bit of golden light flowed up from all the bones. It can be seen that on Leo's naked arm, there is an obvious golden thread, which follows that finger and enters Tony's body. A little golden light moved along the 206 bones, rushing into Tony's ribs section by section. The mysterious golden light extended to Tony's body. Leo felt like he could control Tony's body completely. Reached out and grabbed, the golden light on his body gathered on the black pattern on Tony's chest, all attached to it. I seem to feel the presence of palladium atoms. Single quote. Leo's eyes showed a strange light. In his eyes, Tony's flesh disappeared, his muscles disappeared, and his bones disappeared, leaving only the human form composed of countless meridians. Finally, the meridians disappeared, leaving countless black strange light patterns flowing in the air. Following the movements of Leo's palm, they began to gather slowly. Visible to the naked eye, the black pattern on Tony's neck quickly disappeared and converged. The black pattern gathered on the chest, forming a black ink dot. Finally, he broke his skin and flew into Leo's hands. The golden light covered the bleeding wound, and the small wound closed quickly. When all the golden light dissipated, Tony's drunk brain was also awake. And Leo's footsteps softened, he took a few steps back, and sat down on the ground, a little dizzy. Leo, how are you doing? Tony lifted Leola up, looked at the small black bead in his hand and asked. The golden light was once again contained in Leo's bone marrow, and the original light was also dimmed a bit, and it was nourished again. It's okay, it's just that I have just broken through. I can't fully control this ability, and it's a lot of energy consumption. Leo felt it for a moment, and there was nothing wrong with him. Looking at the small dark metal waste in his hand, he stretched out his hand. Broke through the air, hit the cliff wall, drilled deep, plunged into the rock, waiting to be slowly digested by time. Tony picked up the blood test device and rewashed the test. 
Palladium concentration, 2%. Don't be happy too early, as long as you continue to use the armor, it will be over in a few days. Leo looked at Tony Stark who was smiling happily. I don't use this trick frequently, and when I really control it, you may have died long ago. Tony's face calmed down again, now it's just that his death period has been extended for a few more days. What you said is true. Leo certainly knew what question Tony was asking. All I know is what happened on one of the countless timelines. I can't guarantee that everything is correct. Leo looked at Tony, it will be announced tomorrow. Looking at Tony sitting in the hall with a cold wind, Leo returned to the room and fell asleep. Iron Bone just broke through 50% of the revealed ability, and was used. The immature skills made Leo a little troubled. The next day, when Leo walked to the living room, Tony was wearing Mark IV sitting on the sofa in the lobby on the first floor, holding a bottle of wine in his hand, and constantly pouring it into his mouth. What are you doing? Oh, Leo, do you want to have a donut? I just bought it at a specialty store, and I wanted to eat it last night. Tony took out a box of donuts from the side and handed it over. Are you drinking and still wearing a Mark IV? I am Iron Man, why can't I wear my armor? Puts a bite of donut in his mouth, Tony said of course. Leo didn't care to open the box and ate, but he kept thinking about vibrating things in his mind, or else, just go to Wakanda in a few days. But it seems that the energy source is not enough, even the reactor can't last a few days now. I don't know what the new reactor will feel like. By the way, I heard that Thor's hammer is made of Ulu alloy. Do you want to join in the fun? The destroyer also seems to be a special metal. Did Captain America catch it? I want to see what metal his shield is. There were a few noises on the TV that had been playing all the time, and the screen flickered a few times before returning to normal. Tony didn't notice anything unusual, but Leo, with a glance of his eyes, saw the two people coming here. Nick Fury, who was still wearing a black trench coat, followed Natasha who was wearing a battle suit. Someone is coming. Tony turned his head and looked out the door, just in time to see Nick Fury coming in. I don't want to join your Superman boys group. Tony thought that Nick Fury was here to win him over. I know, you came here alone, what happened? Result, result. Nick sat opposite Tony, beside Leo, why are you here? Like you, solve the same problem. Leo was still eating the donut slowly, how do you maintain such an unstable element of lithium dioxide? Nick Fury glanced at Leo meaningfully, turned to Tony, looked at Tony, who had no black pattern on his neck, and couldn't help but smile. It seems that I am a step late. You have solved the problem of palladium poisoning. How did you know? Tony frowned thinking that he and Leo knew about his poisoning, well, Ivan also counts, but he has died. Natasha, fully armed, came over and stood beside Nick Fury. Tony looked at her seriously in disbelief, and said disappointedly, you were fired. It's up to you to decide. Natasha sat down and sat on the other side of Leo. Tony, this is Agent Romanov. I'm an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., after knowing that you are sick, Director Fury sent me to observe you. You better apologize to me. Tony looked at Natasha with a headache. Leo is still eating the donuts unhurriedly, it can be said that it is business, I believe Tony will understand these things. Leo, do you know her identity? Tony looked at Leo and asked. I knew it on the first day, otherwise, why would I be on stage to compete with her, but your eyes were covered by the beauty at the time, and you didn't think deeply. Natasha frowned and looked at Leo. She had reported his situation to Fury, but she didn't get any reply from Fury. It seemed that the two had already known each other. Fry knew that Leo would not want to talk other nonsense after this. Your poisoning problem is solved. No, it's temporarily relieved, it won't last long. Leo said first. It seems that it is not easy to heal you. Fury stared at Tony with one eye and said. I have been looking for alternatives to palladium, and I have tried every combination of each element. Tony retorted. I'm here to tell you, you haven't tried all of them. Fury said slowly. Tony was shocked and looked at Leo in shock. Natasha and Collison came over carrying a big box. And Nick Fury was ready to get up and leave, I have an appointment at 2 o'clock, let's go. Wait, wait, what is this? You can unlock it, right? No, I can't, I don't even know what to unlock. Fry did not pay attention and was about to leave, 
Natasha will continue to be undercover at Stark Industries, do you remember Agent Coulson? Remember. Tony, remember, my eyes will always follow you. Nick took a deep look at Tony, then turned and left. We cut off all communications and cannot communicate with the outside world. Good luck, Mr. Stark. Natasha also left here. Agent Coulson walked up with a constant smile and looked at him gently. Tony looked back at the smiling Coulson. First of all, I need to do physical training, I will work in the laboratory. Of course, if you can send your staff to Starbucks and buy me some snacks and drinks, it would be better. Collison said with a bright smile, this is not my duty. Director Fury ordered me to use any means to keep you here, if you want to leave, or play any tricks. I will stun you with an electric stick, and watch, Super Nanny, while watching you drool on the ground, okay. I understand. Tony nodded, looking at the smiling tiger in front of him. Enjoy your entertainment tonight. Collison also turned his head and left. Tony looked around and found that Leo didn't know when he was gone, so he looked back at the big box. Howard Stark's possession. Single quote. Leo sat in his exclusive car with Nick Fury. Leo, why have you been with Tony Stark and what is your purpose? He has money. I need resources for cultivation. I can only hold Stark's thigh. By the way, you also seem to have good things for S.H.I.E.L.D. Can you let me see that Cosmos Cube? Leo looked at Nick Fury expectantly. Leo, do you know what's going on with the big green guy? Nick Fury looked at Leo a little coldly. He didn't expect that the secret of the cube of the universe was also exposed to Leo. Drive Banner. You shouldn't care about him. Dr. Banner will control the Hulk in your body. With your current technology, there is still no way to deal with him. Drive Banner is learning how to control him, so don't always provoke him. You can trust Banner. He is also a victim. Leo boasted, actually, you can protect him and even develop Hulk into a member of the Avengers, right? I think it must be a very powerful helper. Oh, do you mean Hulk is controllable? Nick Fury also thought about it. There will always be weaknesses. Hulk is like a child. If someone beats him, he will naturally beat him back. He lives with anger and death, but he also knows how to distinguish good from evil. Leo looked at Natasha who had left. Just find the right person, there is always a way to control him. Thank you. Okay, when the universe Rubik's Cube lends me to play, you can't control its energy for the time being, don't attract aliens, you know, I'm not kidding. Leo started to feel a bit greedy for the universe cube. After Leo left, Nick Fury thought for a while in the car before driving away. Inside the military base, Rod has already brought the Mark II back, which can be regarded as an explanation to the military. But the above insisted on carrying out a military display at the Star Industry Fair, and invited Justin Hammer to upgrade the Mark II. Rod could not defy the orders of his superiors, but before Justin came, he had removed the breastplate of Mark II. Took out the bright arc reactor in the middle carefully. Is that his source of energy? Asked a major standing aside. Major, this is not a scientific experiment. Just put your weapon on it. Yes, sir. Rod said with a serious face. He also knew the meaning of this little thing. Tony mentioned the importance of the reactor more than once, and he would never allow other people to peep into this thing. Especially for Hanmo industry, Rod carefully put away the reactor. Because Ivan made solid armor and could not carry people, the extremely angry Hanmo saw Mark II and called out with excitement. Oh, okay, okay, great, is today my birthday. Hanmo walked in front of Mark II and looked excitedly, is this the thing I thought? Yes, I want to know what you can do for us. Rod looked at Hanmo indifferently with his hands in his arms, and said directly. I will update your software first, and then. No, no, I'm not talking about this, I'm talking about firepower. Rod said. Then you find the right person. Hanmo looked at Rod with a smile, and broke the lollipop in his mouth. Cleric semi-automatic pistol, 9mm. M24 shotgun. Belgian-made FN2000 charge. 40 cm caliber grenade. Looking at Rod's unchanging eyes they seemed to be dissatisfied, and then he took out a 6-barreled machine gun. This is an M134 machine gun with 6 independent barrels. But Rod's face still seemed to be frowning, dissatisfied. Hanmo took out a small box from the box behind him. These are top Cuban cigars, Cohiba, Monte Cristo. 
opened it and took out a small missile that was no longer than a palm, and rubbed it in his hand. This is the Sidewinder missile, with cyclone explosives. It has three trinitrotoluene explosives, enough to blow up a bunker. And the bunker hidden further down. Hammer passed the missile in his hand to Rod's hand. Kept showing off in his mouth, no matter how smart it is, it will write books by itself, and it will read it to you. Took it back from Rod's hand, held it high and looked at the missile in his hand, intoxicated, it is my Eiffel Tower, my Rachmaninoff Third Symphony, my classic. I named it, ex-wife. This is my best weapon. I want it, Rod said, touching his chin. Which one? All. Leo has returned to the underground studio, Tony just took out a blue drawing from the box. Is the drawing of the arc reactor painted on it? Put it aside, there are a lot of notes in the box, as well as two old film and video tapes. Leo, do you know what Nick Fury means? What exactly is the new element? Leo looked at the pile of debris in front of him, and looked at Tony with some confusion. Are you sure you want me to tell you directly, the gift your father gave you specifically? Tony looked down at the tape in his hand, and the notebook full of Howard's handwriting. In his mind, the image of his father is indifferent and scheming. He never said he loved him, and he never said he liked him. But it is undeniable that his father taught him a lot of knowledge, which is the existence he once looked forward to in his heart. It can even be said that Tony regrets that day, when the two of them went out, they didn't hug them properly and said to them I love you. He still remembers that day, it was Christmas, Howard said to him, some people say that the more mean and the potential is proportional, if it is true, maybe you will do something in the future. Although it may be ironic, Tony would rather be Howard praised him. Tony moved everything into the basement alone, sat in a chair and looked through the notebooks that were left. Leo sat next to him, S.H.I.E.L.D. must have read these materials, but they have not discovered the secret. Are you confident? I think I am smarter than my father. Turned on the old-fashioned film projector and projected the content on the screen. While watching the video, he kept flipping through the notebook with weird formulas and inexplicable symbols in his hands. Tony quickly absorbed the main points and filtered knowledge. Often Leo had just read two lines and Tony had already turned to the next page. And the video materials are basically all tidbits. Is the video recording of the first Stark Industry Fair that year. Tony also put the video of that year at the opening ceremony of this year. So I don't think there is any value here. All my attention is on the notebook in my hand. Howard in the video is recording the video over and over again, behind which is the architectural drawing of the 74th Expo. Leo saw it with relish. Little Tony suddenly appeared in the screen, but the four-year-old Tony picked up a building model. Howard saw it and said loudly, Tony, what are you doing? There was a sudden, Tony. Asked Tony, who was concentrating on his notebook, to raise his head. Put it back, put it where it was. Where is your mother? Maria. All the video materials behind are randomly edited, with tidbits, scenery, flashes, and black screens. Tony also retracted his gaze, and continued to flip through the complicated notebook in his hand, but it was only halfway through, and there was no handwriting behind, only blank paper. Threw the notebook in his hand aside, and touched his head with a headache. Leo, I have read all the information and don't have any knowledge about the new elements. Are you really sure? It's not on the book, then watch the video, maybe the answer is here. Leo answered while looking at the screen. The video also suddenly changed from a black screen to Howard's picture, still next to the architectural drawings of the exposition. Howard is facing the camera like a person watching the video. Tony. You are too young to understand now, so I will take this part for you first. Tony clenched the cup in his hand for a few minutes. Looking at the figure on the screen, the two of them faced each other as if they had an exchange across time and space. Howard pointed his finger at the architectural drawing behind him, this is all made for you. One day you will understand that this represents not only a human invention, it is also my life's achievement. This is the key to the future. The logo building on the architectural drawing keeps appearing on the screen. I am limited by the technology of this era, but one day you will understand all this, and then you will change the world. Tony stared at the figure on the screen intently. This was the attitude and words he had never seen his father say to him, all of which attracted him deeply. My greatest creation will always be. You. Tony is in tears. 
This is also the first time Leo sees Tony Stark in tears. Mr. Stark, have you found it? No, but I want to meet Pepper, are you going? No, but if you can get a few tons of gold titanium alloy, it would be better. There are still five tons in the warehouse. You can use it first. There are three brand new reactors in the warehouse. I think you can find them. Tony rushed out in his silver white sports car, and Leo also cast his gaze into the warehouse. Leo sat cross-legged directly in the warehouse, holding the two reactors that had been turned out from a dark cabinet in both hands. And the other one was directly fixed on the chest out of thin air. The five tons of metal materials on the side moved to his side like flowing water. The metal keeps being put together, turning into a huge hollow metal cover, shrouding itself in it. The three reactors on gushed out a huge electric current, and immediately tore the clothes on his body, turning it into coke and ashes. The powerful electric current covering half of the upper body rushed into the body. At the same time, a large area of golden light appeared in the dim room and rushed into Leo's body, seeming to want to fill the gap in it. The golden light is all attached to the bones, making it shining too much. Even if someone is watching at this time, they can directly see the bright bones through Leo's skin and flesh. The strength of the iron bone has been increased to 51%, and the strength and defense have all been increased to 22 points. The elapsed distance between the gold dots converged too quickly, and it looked like a lot of small gold lines had formed, which were transferred from the metal to Leo's body. The surrounding metal is slowly becoming dimmed, and several cracks have appeared in the completely dark place. Is like rotten wood that is overwhelmed. The deep cracks cannot bear the weight, and they break directly into pieces and fall. The remaining metal was fixed in place and continued to provide power. Metal fragments fell one after another, covering the ground around Leo. Only 10 centimeters around Leo was like a restricted area, unable to break through. A few hours later, Tony came back from Stark Industries with a model drawing of the 1974 Expo building. Moved in piece by piece, put it together on the table. Jarvis, where is Leo? Mr. Stark, Mr. Leo is still in the warehouse and has not been out for four hours. A powerful energy field has appeared inside the warehouse, which I cannot observe. No matter, Jarvis, please make a digital model. I want an operable projection screen. A burst of blue light began to scan from one side, and at the same time an identical projection screen appeared above. Stark Industry Fair 1974, the scan is complete, sir. Sir, it has been detected that the energy field in the warehouse is weakening. Do you want to probe again? Jarvis' voice came out. Call Leo out directly, I think I might have found something. Tony reached out and supported the huge three-dimensional projection model into the empty space on the other side. How many buildings are there in total? Does it include the Belgian muffin stall? No, I'm just asking. Tony became a little excited. With a light snap of his fingers, the entire model began to slowly rotate. Following Tony's movements, the plane model stood up. The entire huge architectural model was presented in front of Tony Stark. In the dim warehouse, the three non-luminous reactors on his body have all fallen to the ground and rolled into the metal slag. All the golden light on Leo's body also converged, opened his eyes and looked at his naked upper body. The warm and moist skin is tightly attached to the tight muscles, clearly looking very delicate. But the first feeling it gives people is actually indestructible. The warehouse also gradually brightened, the surrounding metal debris covered the ground, and a virtual sound came out. Mr. Leo, Mr. Stark is calling you over. Leo stood up, his fingers danced lightly, and the debris all over the floor gathered, and by the way, three reactors were also crushed into it. Turned around and turned into a humanoid model. In just a few seconds, a Mark II armor appeared. At the same time, Dozens of kilograms of gold titanium alloy that had not been consumed on the side was divided into two pieces of golden breastplates and buckled on Leo's body. As he walked outward, the hard armor on his body changed one step at a time, and there was a strange jitter from top to bottom, the hard armor softened visible to the naked eye. The whole piece of metal turned into countless metal filaments intertwined together and turned into a soft golden shirt. Gently raised his hand, the Mark II model flew out following the air, and the remaining silver metal colored it, making the Mark II more realistic. And now, Leo's control point has been upgraded to 115 points. 
Tony stood in front of the huge three-dimensional projection, and his thoughts seemed to become clearer. Looked at the spherical building in the center, what does this look like? Huh. It's a bit like an atom, isn't it? The nucleus should be here. Tony reached out his hand and clicked on it, using his fingers to draw a range, folding his hands together to expand. The circular building in the middle has grown many times larger and is abrupt in all the buildings. Tony stepped back two steps, and looked around, remove the aisle, throw it away. With a light wave of his palm, the corridor on the projection disappeared. Leo also walked to Tony's side, it looks like you have a major breakthrough. I believe that I have discovered a new element. Tony rubbed his chin, removed the landscape, bushes, trees, parking lots, heads, entrances. Reached out and flicked, and removed most of the buildings on the whole picture. Using the pavilion as a framework to form protons and neutrons. At this point, even with Jarvis computing power, it takes a few seconds to arrange. Looking at the atom model that was gradually taking shape in front of him, Tony still wiped his face in disbelief, Dad. After was constructed, a circular element structure appeared in front of him. Stretched out his hand, the sphere expanded, covering the two of them. Tony looked at this wonderful scene while spinning, feeling a little uncomfortable in his heart, but he felt happy again. You have been dead for 20 years and you still have to teach me. There was a happy smile on his face, his hands were put together, and the whole projection shrank into a small bead, exuding a different kind of beauty. The new element you discover should replace the palladium element you are using. Looked at the little ball, thanks, dad. Unfortunately, it can't be synthesized. Jarvis said from the side. Leo came up, Mr. Stark, do you know what to do? I want to build an atomic collider, using huge energy to shorten the nuclear distance, forcing the nucleus to approach, and to synthesize new elements, I need a carrier, and the most suitable carrier is vibrating. Tony took out from his father's box and found a small piece of vibration gold left by Howard, which was prepared to be used as a carrier. But Leo's eyes brightened, Zhenzhen, there was still a lot left for Tony last time, and it seems that I can do more. Then let's start quickly, I can't wait. Tony stood up, stretched out his arms, moved his legs, preparing for a major renovation, it seems it's time to sweat a little. Jarvis, send me all the prism accelerators from the company. Yes, sir. Leo, I am going to remodel it directly at home, you can help me. After that, Tony, an activist, directly caused damage at home. Drew marks that needed to be broken on several walls, and smashed the floor to simplify the line. It originally required Tony to spend a lot of effort to complete the energy work, but it was not worth mentioning in front of Leo. Any place that needs to be demolished, a piece of metal can be easily done, but in half an hour, the comm equipment has not been delivered yet, and the venue has been arranged. While resting, Tony sat in front of the computer again, not knowing what he was calculating. Leo also filled the empty slot on the wall with his Mark II model, and looked at the four intact armor models, and it seemed a lot more comfortable. One hour later, dark pipes flew out of the wooden box. According to Tony's request, it was placed where it should be placed, and the load below it was a metal pillar flying over. The support column is automatically formed, expands below, and wraps the pipe above, which is very stable. Tony didn't think that it would be so easy this time. The work that might have taken him two days to complete was now completed in only half a day. Tony looked at all the equipment that had been arranged, and looked at the vibrating on the table. Well, now I need to transform the vibrato into a carrier sheet, and then make the corresponding arc reactor, and I need a brand new suit. Leo stretched out his hand and pulled the large piece of vibrating gold over, and with a light stroke of his finger, he took out the triangular vibrating blocks, and in a short while, 50 were drawn out. How about we make 50 first? No, no, it's too much, and the energy supply is not enough. We have to go through tests before we can use it. One is enough. But I need new energy, the palladium metal reactor is a bit smaller. Leo remembered the scene in the warehouse. After the iron bone was strengthened to more than 50%, his appetite seemed to be much bigger. Although the previous time may have been a special situation, it is not difficult to see that my appetite has increased a lot. It seems that the plan to go to Wakanda is going to be early. A lot of drawings popped up on Tony's computer in an instant. Every step of his operation made Leo look dizzy. 
Even if he was watching from the sidelines, he couldn't keep up with Tony's rhythm. His super smart brain made his every step beyond Leo's thinking speed. Inexplicable parts are drawn out, and they are gathered into a part of Mark VI. Seeing the Mark VI gradually taking shape, Leo was a little bit emotional. Mr. Stark, are you planning to design the Mark VI within an hour? Is it difficult? Tony said without pause. Did not look back, staring at the computer screen. The entire Mark VI is based on the improvement of the Mark IV. Because of using a new energy source, the prototype logo cluster port on the chest was changed to an inverted triangle, which symbolizes stability and is also very handsome. Then added a pressurized armor system, which can be used for diving operations. By the way, some weapons were added. I first upgraded the six-barreled mini-guns on my shoulders. A heavy missile was added to the right shoulder, each arm was equipped with eight propellant grenades, and then a laser weapon was added to the back of the hand. However, the strength of the material is not enough, so the laser beam is a one-time, 200 petava high-energy laser, I think there should be nothing to stop it. Tony said, he seemed to be more excited, and his hand beat faster, so there is not much change, of course the speed should be faster. Leo curled his lips on the side. One hour later, Tony has been perfecting the design of Mark VI but the new reactor shell has been made. Can start to try and equip new elemental energy blocks. An hour later, all the accelerator parameters have been debugged. Tony put the triangular acceleration prism into the energy node, and at the same time fixed the small vibrating triangle on the opposite bracket of the triangular prism. Tony threw a pair of sunglasses over. Put it on, it may be a little dazzling in the next. Leo put on his sunglasses and stood by the stand, beside the remaining 49 small vibrating triangles. Mr. Stark, don't stop the energy emission in a moment. I will directly replace the vibrating carrier and make several more at once. Try it first. Tony inserted the start key and opened the energy injection port. Start the prism accelerator. A light blue light appeared in the black pipe surrounding the circle, accelerating continuously in the loop. The speed is getting faster and faster, the energy level is getting higher and higher, and the light is getting brighter. Tony grabbed the steering wheel above the triangular prism, trying to refract the light. Close to the highest energy. Jarvis prompted. Using a big pipe wrench, Tony reluctantly turned, the light blue laser shot out, and the bright light reflected on the wall and sank deeply. Scorched deep marks and flames appeared on the wall in an instant. The metal cabinets, book frames, and concrete stone pillars were all cut off smoothly, and countless flames appeared. Finally, the laser cut off one side of the bracket and accurately moved to the golden triangle. Did not penetrate at this time, the elemental energy concentrated on the vibrating golden triangle and dyed it into a brilliant blue and white. The light is getting more and more intense, even if Tony wears sunglasses, it feels a little dazzling. Leo. Leo stared directly at the small triangle in the middle, moving his fingers slightly, and the other small triangle was perfectly connected, continuing to synthesize the new element core. The small golden triangles rose one by one, but the seventh one, the light that had been at its peak had already begun to slowly drop its energy. In the end, all disappeared, and there was not a single drop left. Tony pressed the switch, turned off the accelerator, and walked forward impatiently. Looking at the seven triangular reactor cores floating in the air in front of him, his eyes were full of shock and incredible. Congratulations, Mr. Stark, you have created a new element. Tony grabbed one with tweezers and placed it in the reactor that had been prepared a long time ago. The device automatically installed the energy core, and energy poured in. A small group of blue light appeared under the reactor, like a small heart beating slowly, and it seemed that it was also adapting to this new energy source. The blue flashing gradually stabilized. The new reactor has a bright and stable light. Sir, the reactor accepts the updated core, and I will start testing. Leo also put the remaining few into the overbuilt reactor, and all of them stabilized smoothly. Looking at this bright source of energy, both of them were extremely excited. Both of them can't wait to get up. On the other side, Ivans is silently building his Whiplash 2.0 armor. The resources provided by Hanmer Industries have made the two electromagnetic whips even more powerful. Improved the energy supply speed of the reactor. The high power current on it can cut and burn any objects touched, 
even the gold titanium alloy can cause obvious burn damage. At the same time, the interference effect is strengthened, and the interview system of the enhanced runner has faster response speed and more convenient retracting. Both wrists are equipped with twin rapid-fire machine guns, and fixers are installed at the bottom of the feet. Added a flight system, improved defense system, and mechanical output. Huge all-wrap design, but compared to the Iron Overlord, it is still reduced a lot. The fuselage is strong and the exposed hydraulic rods are all covered by plate armor. The most important thing is that the reactor has a self-detonation system, and it can be destroyed if it fails. Looking at the bright electric whip in front of him, Ivan couldn't help but laugh. The next day was also the premiere of the Stark Industrial Fair, the military exhibition. Hanmer Industries will show his robotic soldiers, and Colonel Rod will show the latest armor of the military. Tony is still staring at the new reactor at home. During this day, he has been testing. At the entrance of the studio, someone suddenly came in, Agent Coulson. I heard you left. Yes, that seems to have happened in the previous life, where have you been? Tony turned around and said I have other things. Quote. Really. Me too, and it succeeded. Tony said nonchalantly, I'm working with you to work for your boy team. Do you want me to work or find me? Collison suddenly found an unfinished Captain America shield, why is this here? Is there anything weird? Roger's shield was made by Mr. Howard, Agent Coulson. Leo walked out, Agent Coulson, why are you here? It seems that you have something to tell us. Coulson squinted at the mysterious boy. Nick Fury told us not to have too much contact with Leo, a character who even he is taboo, it seems that this boy is really not easy. Single quote. Nothing, come to say goodbye to you, I have been transferred, I am going to New Mexico. A charming wonderland. Everyone says that. Secret mission. Tony asked. Almost. Tony looked at his agent Coulson who had been helping in front of him, his expression was somewhat complicated, and he stretched out a hand, good luck, bye. Thanks, we need you. Yes, I need me so much. Tony still replied confidently. There is no need for excess, Collison retorted. Turned to face Leo and stretched out her hand, Mr. Leo, goodbye. Agent Coulson, goodbye, remember to call me if there is something fun in New Mexico, this is my number. Leo smiled and handed over a business card, I believe you will realize your wish soon. By the way, don't forget to look at the Norse mythology, it may be helpful to you. Coulson left here with doubts. Tony turned his head and said to Leo, what wish can he achieve? World peace. No, he wants to see his idol, Captain America Rogers, it should be soon, do you want to see him? An old man who is almost a hundred years old. Not interested. Turn around and continue working. Mr. Stark. How about the new element research? Unbelievable. Strange elemental energy, the efficiency is probably ten times that of a palladium metal reactor. Tony exclaimed, it also seems to have an inexplicable effect on living organisms. The effect is uncertain. I want to do a biological experiment. Looking back at Leo, he packed the remaining six vibrating arc reactor Mark I into a small school bag. Leo, I still need to do the next test and improvement, the new elements are not that simple. You slowly improve. I should go back. Peter called me yesterday and asked me to go back and watch the show with him today, so I won't be here with you. Leo replied with a smile. The solid golden light wings spread out and turned into a stream of light and rushed out. Tony looked at the place where Leo disappeared and put his hand up, rubbing his chin with one hand. You said, if a battle armor made of carbon nanotubes can stop Leo. Single quote. Within 10 minutes, Leo returned to his garage. There is no high-quality metal at home to allow him to continue practicing, and the reactor in his school bag is also safely placed in his small room. Looking at Theosul out of the body, lying on the bedside table, it seems that he hasn't practiced for some days. Picked it up, looked at the ancient Sanskrit on it, and put it down again. Forget it, don't force it. Anyway, I don't sleep a lot. I basically spend my time practicing, just want to see what my soul looks like. Go back in a few days, I will almost memorize the book. Leo glanced at the living room. Peter had been waiting for Leo to take him out to play. Took off the golden silk shirt on her body, put on a more normal dress, and went out with an excited Peter. Everyone is going to visit the expo. 
Today, New York is very lively because of the performances at the expo. Not long after, a phone call came to Tony's house. Missed call, no number displayed, sir. Jarvis's voice came out. I can answer the phone again, great. Tony sat down in front of the computer, Coelson, how about the charming wonderland? Tony, how are you? Ha, huh, I doubled the speed. Ivan's mocking voice came out. You don't sound like a dead person. So are you, ha ha. Tony's smiling face wrinkled, and he reached out and clicked to silence the sound, so that Ivan could not hear his voice. Track incoming calls. Said to Jarvis. Stark's family history will be rewritten. What your dad has done to my family in 40 years, I will do it to you in 40 minutes. Sounds great, let's have a good chat. Tony replied. Jarvis, where is he? Access to the Oracle Telephone Network, the east coast of the United States, the Delta region, Manhattan and adjacent administrative regions. Jarvis is fast tracking, locating level by level. But the phone has been hung up, and the tracking is also disconnected. Tony was a little flustered, Ivan is still alive, what is he going to do? Single quote. Turned his head and saw the news on the computer on one side, which was about the presentation of the expo tonight. Justin Hammer's big smiling face appeared on it, and the title was, Defend the Peace. Tony seemed to have guessed something, and looked back at the new type of reactor that was still being tested. Time does not allow him to hesitate any longer, and he stepped forward and picked it up and stuffed it into the big hole in his chest. Mr. Jarvis, just test it like this, and assemble the Mark VI now. We are not sure yet. I don't want to hear this, Jarvis. The new type of reactor slowly glowed on Tony's chest. The black pattern that had appeared again on his chest, gradually disappeared with the light. New elements are slowly pouring into Tony's body, producing a subtle change. As night fell slightly, Leo, who was rushing to the expo with Peter, who had just eaten, rang the Bluetooth headset in his pocket. Picked it up and clasped it on his right ear, Mr. Stark. Leo, Ivan is not dead. My last test location was an unknown spot in Manhattan. I think his goal is likely to be tonight's expo performance. I'm rushing over now. Everyone at the scene is in danger. Ivan must have received some funding. Tonight will definitely not be that simple. Leo glanced at the people around him. I'm here at the expo. There is absolutely nothing going to happen. You can go directly to Ivan. Okay, but you must be careful about the safety of the people. If there is an accident, lead to an open place. Ivan's goal is me. Help me take care of Pepper. She is also there. Okay. Leo took Peter, and the two walked towards the main hall of the expo. Is broadcasting on the radio. Justin Hammer, his exhibition will be held in the main hall soon. Single quote. Peter's eyes lit up and he saw someone selling around Iron Man, and he passed Leola over. Spent $20 to buy a glowing Iron Man mask, and also included an Iron Man glowing glove. Seeing Peter happily playing with his new toy, Leo also laughed. Ivan, you said you would fight Iron Man, and you also made such robots to destroy and kill people everywhere, implicating hatred on the heads of civilians, and almost killed Peter. You are completely out of help. Single quote. The two wanted to walk into the main hall, but they were stopped by being told they had no pass. Leo took out an internal work card of Stark Industries that Stark had sold for him. Then successfully entered the main venue. At this time, Justin Hammer was speaking vigorously on stage. Was mocking Iron Man's inaction, and Pepper frowned. Gentlemen and ladies, today, I will introduce to you, the new face of the American military, the Hammer Steel Soldier. The platform went dark, and several elevator platforms appeared. Army Steel Soldier. Eight green steel soldiers with elongated barrels on their backs rose up. Navy Steel Soldier. Eight light blue steel soldiers carrying six missile launching nests on their shoulders. Air Force Steel Soldier. Eight dark blue streamlined steel soldiers appeared, attacking by rapid-fire machine guns on both arms Marine Corps Steel Soldiers. Quote. Eight camouflage steel soldiers appeared, grenade launchers on both hands and rapid-fire machine guns. Gentlemen and ladies, I am honored to introduce the first prototype, the Comprehensive Threat Response Combat Armor, and its pilot, Lt. Col. James Rhodes. A more textured steel armor stood out, with a six-barreled machine gun on the back, 
a missile launching nest on both shoulders, and a powerful machine gun and grenade launcher on both hands. All proved to be a steel armor with powerful firepower. There was a warm applause from the audience. However, at this time, a small spot of light appeared in the distance and was approaching quickly. The classic combination of golden and bright red, with a stable inverted triangle on the chest, Iron Man is here. Everyone around couldn't help standing up, clapping vigorously and cheering, much louder than the previous voice. At the same time, at this moment, Ivan has completely controlled all the steel soldiers, as well as the steel armor system on Rod. All of a sudden, the 33 steel figures raised their left hands and pointed them at Tony. Tony didn't respond, Rhodes, is that you? It's not me, it's not me, I can't move, I'm locked up. I'm locked up. Rod shouted, come on, the whole system is under control. Let's call outside. Tony didn't have time to search for Pepper's figure, so he flew up and flew out quickly. All the muzzles moved with the silhouette of Iron Man, and countless sparks flashed from the muzzle. Leo also stretched out his little hand. Hundreds of bullets that had hit the glass ceiling stopped in midair. And the huge glass plate that was about to be broken was spared and preserved. But the fierce gunfire with sparks still caused a huge crowd riot. Rod's steel armor was activated first, soaring into the sky, and chasing him through the big hole in the center of the sky. The other 32 steel soldiers, except for the eight army steel soldiers, could not fly. The rest all activated the spray devices on both hands and feet, especially the light blue Air Force steel soldiers. The light body and streamlined figure make them lift up quickly. In the chaotic scene, Pepper also panicked, more worried about Tony's danger. But Natasha, who had been following her, had already discovered something was wrong, and she could vaguely see the bullet floating above her eyes beyond ordinary people. The glass that was supposed to be broken was no accident. Justin Hammer also ran to the backstage of the exhibition hall in fear, what happened? The software has been changed. What? What does it mean that the software has been changed? He controlled the steel soldiers. The Hammer Industries staff who had been operating in front of the computer replied. Impossible, call the guard. Hanmo didn't believe it, but he had already sent two guards there to prevent Ivan from making trouble. But I didn't think about it. As soon as I left my front foot, the two guards on the back foot were hanged by Ivan who had been in prison for 15 years. The telephone lines are all cut off, sir. We were blocked outside the host. The staff replied by typing on the keyboard. Who will keep you out of the host? Pepper and Natasha rushed over, and Pepper called. Please, go away, go away, I can handle it. Hanmo shouted at the two. Is it? Yes, this wouldn't happen if Iron Man didn't come, go away, thank you. Hanmo disliked these two people very much, and lowered his head and said, we have to get these two stinks away. But Natasha strode up, pressed Hanmer's head straight to the table, and put her right hand away. Tell me who is doing the ghost. The intensity in his hands increased a bit. Ivan, Ivan Fanko. Hanmer, who had never received such a painful treatment, blurted out. Where is he? In, in my company. Natasha, who got the news, turned around and left. Years of secret agent experience told him that at this time, one second could not be delayed. And Pepper also directly called the New York City Police Department headquarters at this time. Leo held Peter wearing the Iron Man helmet with his left hand, and gently pulled his right hand. Eight steel soldiers of the Air Force, who had accelerated to a height of more than 10 meters, fell down forcefully against gravity with flames spewing from their hands and feet. The remaining 24 steel robot soldiers also followed Ivan's instructions and started to walk out in strides, preparing to cause destruction in New York. Leo took a light step forward, and all the steel soldiers who had already dispersed, gathered in an instant. 32 robo-warriors were forced to fit tightly together, unable to move. The reactor on the chest of the steel soldier shines brightly and is working hard. But the limbs cannot make any movements, like a pile of metal models that only glow. Dot dot dot. Ivan, who was originally at the computer at ease, smiled with a toothpick and immediately became serious. Looked at the monitoring screen on the computer, shocked. What happened? Single quote. Looking at the 32 green light spots huddled together on the screen, Ivan directly bit the toothpick in his mouth, and his fingers banged frantically on the keyboard. Has Stark invented another magnetic weapon? 
FK. No matter how he operates, the Iron Soldier is still unable to move, but there is no problem with his program. A strong external force prevented the mechanical movement, and the hardware had a problem. Looking at the Lord's armor still chasing Iron Man, Ivan clenched his fist and slammed it against the table. Then have a gorgeous explosion. Ivan smiled sickly and hit a few keys. Looking at the self-detonation program that has been confirmed to start, Ivan did not delay, and left alone, ready to put on the morning whip armor that had been prepared. Since the Iron Soldier's attack plan has failed, let's go on the battlefield yourself. Leo, who is still standing at the back of the exhibition hall, smiled at the fragile robots on the exhibition stand. Brother Leo, how come these robots are not moving, and they are not good looking at all? They are still handsome, but Iron Man has already flown away. Peter took off his mask and raised his head and said to Leo, who is already 1.49 meters away. Brother, let's go out to find Iron Man, maybe we can see him flying in the sky. D, 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 D. Single quote. The faint Didi alarm sounded from a few tens of meters away, and was still caught by Leo, turning his head to look. All the robot soldiers on the stage, the reactors in front of their chests all have red warning sounds, and the frequency will become faster and faster. Although the surrounding people basically escaped, Leo and Peter are still here. They don't want to hear the huge explosion noise. With a flick of his finger, all the head receivers used to receive signals flew up and were thrown to the ground randomly. But the self-detonation program has been started, no continuous signal reception is required. Leo's eyes lit up slightly, his gaze penetrated the shell of the mecha and directly saw the inside of the reactor. All the reactors are overloaded, and an external force is pressing the energy device in it, which may take two to three seconds. This energy will accumulate to the top, like a balloon that has been blown up and punctured by a needle, and then cause a violent explosion. At the same time, 32 reactors gathered here all of a sudden the power will increase exponentially. If it really explodes, the entire large main exhibition hall will only become a ruin. Raised his right hand and grabbed it. 32 steel warriors all floated and separated, the reactors in front of them were taken out violently, and the remaining gray mechanical body was lying on the ground weakly. With the palm of his hand, all the bright reactors were greatly distorted in an instant and collapsed inside. Within a second, it became 32 small metal beads floating in the air. Explosion. No black smoke came out. As for the remaining 32 robot fighters without energy cores, Leo didn't want others to take them. Frowned slightly, and saw a steel figure floating slightly, and the steel twisting sound rang. With a soft bang, it shattered into thousands of metal fragments. But Leo was still a little dissatisfied, and divided the remaining palm metal into dozens of pieces at random. The remaining steel soldiers also exploded one after another, turning into scraps of metal on the ground. No one would have thought that the imposing steel warrior with powerful firepower five minutes ago would have been silently turned into a piece of waste. And Leo also led Peter to the outside. Why don't you absorb these metals? These inferior metals that can be broken by bullets, Leo, who is used to gold titanium alloys, can't look down on them. On the other side, Rod was forcibly locked in Mark II by himself, and Ivan controlled him to chase Iron Man. In case the armor makes some anti-human actions, Rod will definitely die miserably. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.